we have a solution for that. Give me that. Genius Supplies. Gay Night! Tonight on Gay Night, Nikki, Lincoln, and me, Mike, are going to teach and play Path of Civilization, a game for one to five players, designed by Fabian Grinnell and published by Captain Games. So join us for our trip through history. Hey, Mike. Hi, Lincoln. Will you teach us Path of Civilization? I'd be happy to. Lincoln. Awesome. <laughs> In Path of Civilization, we are one of these ancient empires. Over a set number of eras around in this game, there'll be nine. Wow. We are going to try to make you're trying to be the leader of the most glorious civilization of humanity for, <laughs> for the roll book. Each turn, uh, we each have a player board and each turn at the bottom down here, we're gonna be doing each of these actions, A through F, mostly simultaneously. Oh. And uh, we'll go through each of those. I'll explain what those are. At the end of uh, nine rounds, we will, as I said, we will crown the glorious leader. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's talk about what you have together. So we all are gonna start off with the same five cards here. These are our technologies. So I'm mm. gonna show you this. We have tools, we have fire, we have hunting, we have rituals, and we have the tribe. Tribe. And you can see that there's a, uh, on, on these simple uh, technologies, there's nothing on the left side, and on the right side, there's a, uh, there's a symbol. So let's first jump into what we're going to do on the uh, development and research. This is, if you look on your board down here, this is B and D. Okay. So during phase A, we're going to take our five cards and you're going to place them on your board. You're going to decide which of the four you want to place. And you can see here in camera, I put two in B and two in D. The last one here will be the one you discard and not play. This will be discarded out of the game. You're going to tuck it here and this will be out of the game for you. Uh, it could be worth points at the end of the game. Your beginning uh, technologies are worth zero. Some of the other ones we'll buy will be worth some points at the end right, of the game. Right, right. Even the ones that we have in our hands that we didn't discard? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so cool. mm -hmm. That'll be one of the ways you're going to get points during the game. You're going to be purchasing or basically increasing your technologies. And uh, going ahead, that would be under area uh, step E. At, at okay. So that is step A, placing our cards on our civilization. B, as you can see here, in uh, round one, there'll be no symbols here, but in the future turns, and I'll show you one here, I'll pick up the masonry if I uh, had this on the next turn. You can see there's a, uh, there's a symbol here, and you would do those symbols during step B, and that is the development. In C, we're gonna, f we're gonna focus on three things. Uh, again, round one, we're gonna mostly skip it, but it'll come up a little bit apparent during each of the other eras or the other rounds. We'll be focusing on the B, uh, which here, this is philosophy, which, oh, is, the, which is the blue. I thought Illuminati there. It is, like, we call it the Illuminati <laughs> a lot, but it is philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> Gray are the wonders, and purple are the leaders. And that's what we'll be purchasing them, and it'll be available for us. Okay. okay. In D, we're gonna be dealing with the research, and that will be on the right side of the uh, action cards you see here. And that's where we'll be gaining points when we honor. The action cards? Uh, excuse me, on the technology cards. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. the That's technology okay. cards. So in this example here, I would move up my uh, green and my uh, orange. So this would be the uh, this um, would be the cultural, and this would be the scientific. So in st in step D, I would move these up by two. I see. Okay. Ah. And are these just points? These are going to be using to buy and re and uh -huh. uh, upgrade your technologies, Lincoln. So in st in step E, you're going to spend these points here. So you can see here there's uh, there one, one mm -hmm. four, seven, and 10, and that's the purchase of each of these technologies. Oh, okay. So when you do it, they go back down and uh, the, the, uh, the markers go down? So you only spend as much as you need. So in this example, so let's say on first turn, I wanted to buy uh, the tyranny. I would spend my one point. Okay. I would grab this. I would put this in here in E. There is no, li there's no limit to the number of each 
technology you may have, but you must buy one and only one each turn. So you're you going to buy. You oh must boy. buy. You must buy one, and you'll see it because of nine turns, you will buy nine technologies. Oh, okay. You can duplicate, and that's actually a uh, pretty good strategy to figure out what you're going to do. Okay. okay? The th next thing to remember is on E is that you're going to get these symbols here, and this is the easiest. This is one of the things to forget. If when you buy a technology you immediately get the symbols that are on here. And Lincoln, they're on this yep, side for on you. Yep, side, I see And that. then, uh, Nikki, you can yeah. see they're here. I'll remind you. So let's talk a little bit about these. I'll go through okay. these. Okay. So this symbol here is population. So you can see here's your population track. Mm, all right. Okay. Population is the limit of how many resources you can get during phase B or D. And it counts separately. So if you have a population of four, for example, you can get four resources or four items during B and four during D. Okay. That is a limit. If for some reason you uh, collect five resources and your population is four, you have to give up one. You just won't okay. be able to collect that. The next on the writing here is a, uh, this is the, um, tech, uh, excuse me, this is the industrial. So you get one resource here in the industrial. Here is a back to the Illuminati. If you took a <laughs> worship, you will put one cube here in the, uh, in the uh, spiritual trick. Next here is the uh, fighting. This is the military legacy track here. Mm. Every time you see this POW symbol, you would move up one <laughs> space on the track here. See, I call it a POW symbol Pow. too. Then finally, here a masonry. This would be for the wonders you would put a cube here, over here. Okay. Yeah. After E, then we go into uh, step F. For the first turns, one and two, we won't have an we won't have an event, so there won't be a challenge, which are the yellows, and there won't be a battle, which is our the red ones. Reds. Okay, yep. cool. And you can see here, and I'll go through each of them. On error or round three, we'll have a challenge. Then it goes military and vice versa. On round nine, you have both. Mm. Okay. At the once we're all done, we pick up our cards. including the card you just bought. You now have five cards again. Okay. We moved to round two, and that's and we continue on. And we'll um, do that nine times. The one you tuck stays tucked? Yes, the you one you tuck, tuck stays tucked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So every turn you're gonna be tucking one. Because so you only have space for four. Yes. Yeet. So part of the game during phase A is figuring out which of your technologies you're gonna give up and which are gonna go away. Meaning that the symbols here, right, are important to you. Mm -hmm. and I'll show you. So I'll bring back, let's see, I'll show you this, Nikki. So we each have each of these four or five right. symbols here. Mm -hmm. So that's, you're gonna have to make a decision early on on which direction you wanna go. Because okay. let's say I tucked my fire. Yeah. I no longer have the ability to get this symbol. This symbol, I can get it on other cards, but for a while I may not be able to get this this symbol. This is the uh, this alchemy is human, or something. This is the uh, scientific. Scientific. This is the scientific. Okay. Correct. You can see here. If you bought tyranny, there is a there is a scientific symbol. Mm -hmm. That's part of the game to figure out what direction you want to go and figure out which card you want to tuck. Hmm. Okay. That's scientific, not technology. Or is this scientific with the beaker? That was it. Scien this okay. is this is the uh, scientific. Yes. So oh, I see it. There. Cultural, scientific, it there, yeah. spiritual, military, and industrial. Industrial, okay. okay. Or industry. Okay. okay. I'm gonna let's talk about uh, a couple mm. of the cards. So I'll show you this on the back of this was the uh, tyranny card. Up. Yeah, the tyranny card about during round one. Still worth zero. Yeah, if I tuck this later in the game, it would be worth zero. I'll turn this this way, so <laughs> everyone see it? Turn to zero, zero. Yep. But you can see it also provides the symbol. This symbol does count for you as part of the game. It would, it would bump up your income if you had it visible? Uh, no, it counts for symbols that require that. So, ah, okay. so let's talk about this. I'm going to pull out the cuneiform. Here. Cuneiform. So during phase F of round three, we're going to be dealing with this challenge. So first off, each of us get a choice of either a leader or a spiritual cube, which we would take for a supply and put it into one of the little cube trays. Okay. We then would get res uh, victory points. So we would take up the number of icons that we have of the green, mm -hmm. plus the number of cubes we have in this section here in the yellow, which is the uh, challenges area. 
Okay. And that would give us victory points. Victory points are the laurels, and every time you see a laurel with a number in it? Uh, no, this is a laurel with a uh, lightning Astros. bolt, okay. means you immediately take it. Okay. Otherwise, at the those would be points at the end of the game. Okay. You can see how that uh, this laurel is end of game points, whereas this laurel is you immediately take it. And we would oh, take I it see. From the I supply. see. But yeah. Yeah. Well, although end yeah. of game, that's zero points. <laughs> yeah. But right. Okay. But you got that symbol. So the second thing would be is then you take that number of points you got and you divide it by two, round it down, and then you put that many cubes into the yellow section again. So ah. it's just basically a, a, there's ways to gain points and each time you make a challenge is gonna help you during the game. Okay. Okay. So that's how, this is how cuneiform works. Very similar, each of the challenges work in a very similar way. There is a, an ability that you're gonna get and then you're gonna get victory points and then it's gonna be placing cubes. This one you get to choose between two different leaders. Uh, you actually get two cubes ah. in the leader okay. section, yes. Okay. So let me now explain a military um, event. Yeah. Okay, so during round four, first off, we're going to have this, uh, I would call it this other player, the, uh, the challenger. There's someone we're going to need to uh, beat. He starts at level two, and you can see here on our, on our military legacy track, he starts at two. Then there is four different positions, first, second, third, fourth. We are going to get, uh, during the game, every time you get a POW, you're gonna move up one space. Every right. leader, or every cube here in your leader track is gonna be worth two temporary points on the track. Then we determine who's first, second, third, fourth, and then you get those uh, uh, rewards. So here you would get, if you're a first, you would get one bump on each of these tracks and three victory points. Second place would get your choice of the bump and victory points. Third place is this bump <laughs> and one victory point. Fourth place is this. The uh, red um, red guy counts as one of the spaces. So he would normally fall in wherever he would in those tracks. And uh, so in this example here, he would be first because he's number two. Mike would be second because I'm one. Mm -hmm. And because Lincoln and Nikki are at zero, you, need, you would not get any rewards because you mm -hmm. need to have right. at least one reward. You need to be on one on the track, whether okay. it be from a temporary cube or your s or uh, okay. okay 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 so when you collect the victory points w for that yes how do you do that you collect them from the oh, um, okay you collect them from the laurels there from the um, okay, okay. generous tray right there okay so i'm happy to go over each of these maybe in a little bit but you can see that uh the military gets harder and the rewards get greater sure each track whereas each of the challenges are different. There's gonna be one in each. So when you set, we set up the game earlier, you're always going to pull one of each from the, uh, the okay. deck, and there's a wide variety of different challenges. Oh, one of each type of challenge? Yes, there's many different challenges and battles for replayability, but you always need to make sure there's one of every type when you pull it out. Oh, okay. Yep, that's part of the game setup. Okay. Any other questions before we move on to the leaders and the wonders? <laughs> and we have a couple of No, uh, I think we're good. Okay. So I skipped, I kind of quickly got skipped over section C. So if you look here on this track and this guide, it tells you on each round how many cards to pull out. So Lincoln, would you help us out by pulling out the two cards from there and putting them face up so for everyone to see? Do you want to put those on the screen? Yeah, let me okay. show you that. So each turn there's going to be a certain number of leaders and or wonders that are going to be available for all of us to uh, purchase or to hire, to influence, <laughs> to come join our civilization. And we're going to be doing that in uh, phase C down your board. I skipped over that earlier, so let's talk about that now. So first off for the, as we call it, the Illuminati, but really the, uh, the spiritual, spiritual track, yeah. you're going to have your cubes in here. You can see on each of the uh, tracks there's a certain number of spiritual cubes that are needed to meet each uh, level. One, two, three, ah. four, and five. Up here. That is correct. Okay. You must move one and only one step if you have cubes in here. So let's say, uh, Nikki, you had two cubes in here. Okay, let's do it. And during phase C, that you had those two cubes, you meet the threshold, you would move up your meeple to one space, correct? You would, these cubes will go back to your supply. Okay. And then because you're the first person to a location, you would get to turn one of these, you turn them both over and choose which one would be with us for the end of the game. Okay. 
and you can see there's going to be, we randomly picked them, they're going to start face down. There's one of each of these, and it'll be that person's choice All right. to figure out what they would want to do. And that's and end game scoring there? Uh, these are, most of the time are immediate. Oh. Immediate. So okay. you're going to get resources, cubes, uh, pow track, <laughs> and you're going to get either one of those, two of those, or three of those, depending on which track you're in. Oh. All right. If two or more people uh, thrust threshold on the same turn, you turn both of them up and they're both available. So there is a benefit to going first. You're the one that gets to choose which resource is in uh, for the game. Okay. Next would be wonders and leaders. They work exactly the same way. We just do wonders first and then we do leaders. So in round one, as you can see here, we have wonders. And in round two, we're going to have both wonders and leaders that are available. Okay. They are, uh, uh, once they're out there in the tableau, anyone can buy them and they don't get refreshed. They're, uh, so oh. they don't get refreshed, meaning that they just come out and once they're bought, they're bought. Okay. okay. So this would be the only amount of the game. There are a couple other cards that may add some, but those are the ones that are available. Okay. Right. So let's talk about these two here. So let's say I want to buy or uh, build Palmera. It would cost me two gray cubes. And immediately I would get two cubes. Cubes in this, in, in here you In mean? the gray yeah. section, yep. I would get one cube in each, because that's what those resources mean. And at the end of the game, I would get one victory point for this. So you build it with two gray cubes, you gain a, a red and a, a yeah. yellow cube in that instance. And you would gain one victory point in awesome. the game. Awesome, okay. okay. Statue of Zeus. You know, and, uh, and there's also the um, resource. You can see there's a resource symbol up at the top, which would help for other things that need those resources. Here you get three immediate uh, red cubes, and this would be worth two points at the end games. Okay. Okay. Where do those go when we buy them? They're going to go on your top on your board here. So I would just, uh, after you take oh. the resources, you could just tuck them in. You could put them next to your other cards that you've been, uh, that you've been discarding. That you've been discarding. Okay. Exactly. Hmm. Uh, you can have any number of uh, wonders. There's no limit. Okay. I thought I've only seen seven wonders. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> seven, seven, aren't there seven ancient wonders and seven modern wonders? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll put these back for you yep. as we run in. Uh, Otherwise, you're going to be here. They'll be for round one. Leaders work the same way. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind, when we get to round two, we'll stop and I'll tell you how the leaders yep. work. But they work a very similar way, and they'll be okay. going on your B section on your board. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh, and I'll explain how that works when we come back to that. Okay. okay. At the end of the game, we're going to be counting up uh, VP from all your cards. Okay. Uh, where you got on the philosophy track? Philosopher. Oh, I see. Six, three, six, ten, fifteen, exactly. twenty-one. Uh, yeah. Your population track. If you could pass nine, you can see that you get victory points down here. Okay. Uh, VP of all your leaders. So you know those leaders that you've. Uh, uh, hired and the wonders, they all have victory points. Nice. Uh, any VP tokens you have, and then any cubes left on the board, it's two for one. So uh, every two cubes is worth one victory point. Okay. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. All right. Tie, tie. tie, share victory. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. I'm definitely going to be, this is a learning game. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so let me give you some, uh, uh, some input. So okay. Okay. So looking at uh, the challenges, the ones that come a little later, you might want to think about saying, okay, this challenge is going to require these symbols, so I have more time, uh, the, uh, the spiritual symbols, so I have more time to maybe plan out. So that might be a mid-game. Okay. One. Whereas uh, something earlier, like you can see these symbols here for the spiritual, you're going to score That's early. Oh, excuse me. Uh, for the cultural, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. For the cultural, you're going to score early, and then maybe there won't be as, as important. Okay. So that's one way of looking at. Because it doesn't come up again. It doesn't. In right, this case, is that right? Right. There, these are the scoring okay. um, challenges, and the only ones for this game. It's not like we're going to get more. These are the ones. Okay. So you can do a little bit of planning that way. All right. So that's one thing. The second thing is that each of our boards are a little bit different. Mm. Uh, both on where we start with and our um, mm -hmm. priority here, which yeah. we can talk about when we get to the uh, leaders and wonders. Oh, okay. So that's one thing to look at. You're, f you're f um, following the, um, that track, which is the spiritual track, so there might be something that you may want to focus a little bit more on that. That's one 
Okay. Uh, that's one option because you're always going to um, not only be the most spiritual, but you always have first priority on uh, hiring or getting wonders and leaders okay. that are spiritual. Hmm. And your population and military, he has two symbols on his board. Correct. So he moved up by one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. And every time you uh, reach that, any space that has a, uh, a symbol here with the leader, you would put a cube here. And that's why your cube is in here at the beginning of the game. And you also had a cube in here. Oh. And mine had a, a, a movement on the pow track. That's why the white meeple's on the uh, line. All right. Mm -hmm. He's got a pow. A pal. Strength, I'm I sure. Wanna, I want to. I want to. Pal, I want a Shasta. Shasta. Yep. So the second, oh, that's okay. So Sleeves. the second thing to think about is which of my, which of my uh, symbols here do I, n do I not want to concentrate Worry on? About. Because that, you're going to immediately get rid of it. Sure. Okay. So that's the so second. So since I'm concerned about like these, I'm going to toss the tribe one. That's possible. Probably yes. hunting, I guess, maybe. That's a bummer. Right. So if you, if you want to, if you, if you think you're going to want more of those, you're going to look at which of the symbols, which of the technologies are going to give you that symbol. Sure. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to, one example like, okay, I can get rid of the tribe, but I'm immediately going to buy the masonry. Masonry, uh-huh. You can see here, because I'm I going to replace that symbol. So when you're looking, are you, what, do you care about this symbol or this symbol? I think you're going to look at both. These are going to be Ongoing? These ongoing, every turn. Okay. You can see here that wherever I place it, if I place it on the D side, I'm going to get these resources that mm -hmm. go up on this track. If I'm going to place it on the B side, I'm going to get a ah, cube that's okay. going to be able to place in there. Right. right. And that's part of the game to think about. For sure. Okay. okay. Um, you're always going to get these resources here. So anytime you worship, you're always going to get one of the blue cubes you're going to be able to put here in the uh, spiritual section. Okie dokie. Okay. Any other questions before? Um, <laughs> well, there'll be more questions. Uh, maybe for the first turn. Mm -hmm. So uh, and I think it really boils down to where you want to go on the path. Where, so you, what you're, where you're going, what, what you were doing? Yeah. So uh, let me come back to some of these. So this, so on level, uh, round three for the challenge is going to deal with the, uh, as we said, culture. The, uh, the culture. Round five is going to deal with the um, uh, scientific. Uh, round seven, we're going to deal with the uh, spiritual, and then round nine here, it's going to be we're going to look at if you have a level four technology in both uh, the um, if you have both robot each set of robotics and internet, <laughs> you're going to get five victory points. So that might be something to robotics uh, and internet. What they are we had the internet about? back they, then. <laughs> they have the internet. That's. <laughs> I, I think we're in the again. future by that time. <laughs> the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Military is also you know, one path you can go on because if you, you know, you, we always have the other uh, external challenge, you know, the, uh, the red meeple there, but you can get a number of victory points on each of the uh, challenges for the military, each, each of the even okay. numbers. And that's worth a decent amount of points too. Okay. You went down that path. Mm. Okay. So we know that um, we have a military wonder there and we have a uh, that's military dust, slash. Yeah, they're both a little military heavy, so that might be another thing. Do I want to go military? Because now there's a lot of military out there. Uh, yeah, play. There might be another reason to focus a little on military, maybe, this okay. game. Okay. Hmm. And you're paying two of the wonder cost. Yes, two of the cubes. So anything that's a cost it would be in the upper left. So the wonders are going to take cubes from here, whereas your technologies are going to be from this track these, yeah, here. Okay. Yep. Okie dokie. Okay. I'm going to be playing the, uh, I think these are the Romans. They don't, they don't put the name on the board, so we have to make this zoom. This also could be the Greeks, right? No, it looks like the Romans to me. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, tyranny. So I'm going to put my tribe over here, and uh, I'm going to put my tools over here to get these two resources. Okay. And then I'm going to put the uh, 
I'm gonna put the hunting and the fire over here, and I'm gonna get rid of my rituals. This is how I would do it. So this is all simultaneously. Sure. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what I'm gonna do. So as you can see, I'm gonna kind of focus on the first turn, mm -hmm. these two symbols. So, but mm -hmm. these, these don't gain anything in the first round. That's correct. You're okay. gonna have, yes. The first <laughs> turn is pretty straightforward. You're gonna be focusing on the, the, the D, which are the research, to get more technologies that you can use later when you develop. Right. Okay. So they're just placeholders in this round then? That is correct, yep. Hmm. Did you hear me say hmm? I mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Boo to that, I say. I don't really want to get rid of any of them, to be frank right, with you. Right, because I, I well, don't know. Well, the game is forces you every turn, you're going to have to buy a new technology or, or research one, and you're going to you're gonna have to put one in decline. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm doing that. And tucking that one. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is truly bad. It's okay. I have no intention that I will possibly win. I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think the game is approachable, meaning that um, we're all kind of doing the same thing. Right. First two turns are pretty straightforward, and we all kind of, you know, we're think of it as older times where we don't need to, we don't really, we have these uh, emerging civilizations and we're not sure what we're doing. Okay. And by the end of the game, we have different paths. Ah, uh, like that uh, animated show we're watching right now. <laughs> oh, crap, crap <laughs> Opolis. Opolis. Okay. They had no clue how to run a civilization. Yeah. <laughs> That's us, for sure. <laughs> okay. okay. So we all placed our cards. Yeah. We do our B actions. You can see here, we know we have nothing here, so we, okay. we, we're done with B. And C, we go look at our cubes here. We start with here, are there two cubes? No, so no one meets that. Okay. We don't have any uh, leaders out yet. Sure. And then if, uh, then we go into wonders. We don't have any cubes here, so no one can buy a wonder. Okay. Now on D, you'll take your resources. So I'm gonna move up my track here, ah. and I'm gonna move my track up here. Oops, I keep knocking my things. So, so it is possible if you knock off your uh, little cylinders, here I'll show you this one. again. You can see the little cylinders. Sometimes uh, a lot of people putting the cubes in here instead. Okay. Oh, okay. Your, your choice. <laughs> Thankfully, my right hand is here, and these are on my left. So there's a little bit less likeliness yeah. that I'll be okay. knocking down. That finishes up uh, uh, phase D. Now we're going to go to E. So now we buy a card simultaneously. If we can, right? You must buy a must. card. Can you buy more than one? Must. Only buy one and only one each mm. turn. So I'm going to spend my... Uh, oh, my I thought it was must at least buy one. No, okay. you must buy one and only one. Mm. You will only buy nine technologies. So I'm going to buy that. I'm going to do the masonry and I'll put it over here in my little E section. We do all this simultaneously. There's enough uh, cars for everyone. As I mentioned, you can duplicate, and there's no uh, there's no limit on how many of each technology you want. Well, I have one in the orange. I'll buy the okay. writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to buy archery. Yep. Okay. So then the next thing we do is... D take your price and down. And you put it here, yeah. yep. and it goes... Right. Yep. And now right. we get the symbol on here. So you're going to do this together, but I'm just going to walk through. So masonry, I'm masonry. going to... Mason, <laughs> masonry, I'm going to put a cube here. Oh. You buy archery, you're I going to move up. I surely did. So you are green, you're going to move up on the POW track with me. Yay. What'd you buy, Lincoln? I bought uh, writing. So you're going to take one resource of that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Here we go. I see. So, yeah, you're going, to, uh, you're going to move that track up to one. There we go. Okay. okay. Oh. Now we're on phase F. There's no event this time. We are done. So that is one whole era, okay. one whole turn. Oh and we'll wow. repeat that eight I more wonder times. They, they, I mean, I guess you need it, but I, I would have probably put that little sticker up here. I, so the idea is... I'm yeah, I understand. Side. You put that there and you yeah. put the card in it. Yeah, so let's see if I can show this on uh, here. Well, that's not a very deep uh, cut. No, it's really easy to knock these over. See? <laughs> okay. But you can see, yeah. <laughs> well, we have sleeves, and maybe that's... Well, you said with cards, even without the sleeves, it's a problem. We have yeah. a top-down camera, so yes, we always do stuff like that. Weird, okay. I know. Cool. Okay, okay. okay, hey, that one's done. Yep, we're done. Round two. So, Lincoln, I like can, it. can you uh, pull out the cards? Nobody bought any of these. Nobody bought any of those. Do those stay? They always stay. Nice. Okay, okay well, let's move the income, or the uh, cashola. Mm -hmm. How many do I pull out? You pull out the whole deck. So, we. Okay. So let me show you this. So, as you uh, put those out... So 
There are three number of players in the game, so you're mm. going to use this uh, cheat sheet, and you <laughs> can see here that each of the rounds, it tells you how many wonders and how many leaders to pull out. Okay. So in round one, we had two wonders. In round two, we're going to have two more wonders and two leaders, and this is how you can do a little bit of planning. And then here, the, I, we'll put them here when we're done, but go Perfect. ahead and show them on the, uh, on the display there. Okay, the first one is uh, Theano of Croton, Croting? Yes, Croton? Yes, Cronut. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious Cronut. So this one has a, a heart symbol. So let me show you how this works. So when you uh, buy a purchase or uh, influence a leader to come to your civilization, you're going to put the leader here. You can see it fits in here. So in this example, uh, this leader doesn't produce anything in B, but while this person is alive, meaning he's on your civilization here in D, he's going to produce this resource for you. Okay. Ah, okay. What's the heart? He means he's alive. He, oh. He's in your in right. When you let's say I purchased another leader. I think that's a lady, by the way. It is a lady. Well, he, person. He, yeah. Person, yeah. man. You know, is yeah. a lady. Yep. Yeah. The uh, there is a big glossary. The game comes with a glossary and historical information oh, on sweet. every wonder and wow. every leader and every. Uh, oh, that's uh, cool. Uh, de development and uh, research. <laughs> Okay. I no like that silly stuff. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of historical knowledge okay. and information in the uh, glossary. Uh, so here is uh, Hypa Hypatia. Hypatia of Alexandria. I only know that one from uh, Similo. I believe she yes, was in one of the Similo games. History or whatever. Okay. History. So this one would say, uh, gives you a, uh, besides the symbol here and the uh, one victory point in the oh. game. This is an immediate, you get to take a level one technology here. This would be under the scientific that would come to your supply. Okay. It's, it's all, all the history I know is from board games. Yeah, <laughs> there totally you go. True, yep. So your question is uh, the alive versus uh, the heart versus the uh, non-heart. So anytime you, when you purchase a leader, they're, they're, they go here. The next leader you, you uh, purchase or influence to your region the other one would then um, go to the tombstone. At the I would bottom. go to the tombstone at the bottom. That's correct. And you would uh, oh. tuck them under here, right? And uh, let's see if I can get this under here. You can tuck them under here. Sure. And what does the heart do there? Well, because it's because the person is now uh, passed away. Deceased. It, he deceased. He does. The heart doesn't produce. Some leaders have both a heart symbol and a tombstone. What does symbol. the heart produce? Okay. So back to the. Um, let me bring this back up for you, Lincoln. Mm-hmm. So here, because the heart mean when this card, when this leader is alive, each turn he's going to produce this resource here, the scientific resource in uh, phase D for you. Right. Because he's alive, he's here. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Meaning it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not here, it's. Uh, it's not in this phase B, it's in phase D that right. it does it. Okay. If, if the leader had a, uh, a B, would be on the left side like this. I'm going to turn this up there. Sure, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. But the heart means it needs, it produces resources up here or has the ability up here. Heart if wants what it heart wants. Okay. Wh whatever, if it had a gravestone or grave, uh, tombstone, it'd be down here. Okay. Okay, so here are the leaders. Here's Stonehenge. Stonehenge. So give you uh, two of the uh, spiritual resources, and uh, here's Constantinople. That's not Istanbul. It's no. not Istanbul. Not yet, anyway. It's nobody's business. And we give you uh, two of the uh, challenges. Two of the challenges. Oh, so yeah. it gives you some of the. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Give you two At challenges. When you take cubes. it, or when you play immediate. It. Okay. So when you okay. immediately play it, you would I get your... I can't see that it's a lightning bolt. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. That's okay. Here you go. Now I'm going to give them to you. Yeah, yeah, look I, can see. I see lightning bolts. And they so go right you. there. Yep. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's start round two. So pick up all your cards. The five cards here. Remember, the ones that are down yep. here are gone for the They're rest gone. of the game. Okay. That, and then on A, we're going to be placing our cards back down. Okay. So I bought masonry. Mason because mm -hmm. Wow, you keep saying masonry. I don't know what's masonry. going on. Masonry. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Lincoln. <laughs> So on uh, the side here for the deployment, uh, it would give me one of the uh, resources here that would help me build a wonder. So I'm going to place this here on the top. Okay. Wow, I am not sure what to do. This one's definitely more powerful in phase D, uh, the D phase here, mm -hmm. the, my new card. But I would love to actually just take advantage of uh, phase A. Or phase B, excuse me. Mm -hmm. A is just putting the cards out. Yep. Hmm. Did you hear me say? Now, mm -hmm. what do mm -hmm. I want to give up? Right. I don't know. Yeah. I, it's 
I think one of the hardest parts of this game is figuring out which cards are going to be retired or not going to be able to use. It's challenging to figure it out. For sure. Well, if I do that, for I can do sure. a level two for that. Mm -hmm. That's an idea. Mm -hmm. I want. Uh, I, I could do be that. <gasps> I could be on the... So one thing to look at is that if you doubled up, let's say you had uh, you bought something like masonry, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I still had my tribe. He's going to be mean to me about Reed. that. No. I'm going to try to remember Reed. it. You can see here <laughs> that uh, I'm going to have two, co I'm going to get two cultural um, resources sure. during uh, round... D, phase D. Phase D in round two, Yeah. and I would almost be able to have four. So that might be one thing to look at. Could Getting a level two technology is always stronger than level one sure. technology. That's um, one thing to look at. I would like to put all of these um, that's on. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the game. You cannot. <laughs> that's the Dang. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do? Definitely that. But I like that. I like the archery. Do you, do you like it? I do. Okay, I cannot decide which card to give up. Well, let's see. Let me see. What do you have? What are your choices? Uh, fighting. Mm -hmm. That's fighting uh, love. The beaker. Mm -hmm. And then the technology. Right. And I'm looking at this order too, going, well, it's. Does that matter? That's higher on my. It will mix. matter if there's a conflict when we're trying to hire okay. wonders and leaders, which I'm going to come to when we get to phase C this turn. Sure. But otherwise, um, it gives you some amount of direction, but no, otherwise it doesn't have too much influence on the card you play. Okay. I really don't want to put anything away. I, I can't I can't tell you not to, but you, you must. I you know. Must. That. But I don't want to, Mike. Okay. Uh, yeah. You already have one in here. You can, so the one option, if you can get another cube in here, you'll be able to move up this round. That's I don't have a thing, that symbol. That's, that's okay. So this is, uh, I don't know what to give up. Never give Let's up. Let's see. Uh, you have this symbol over here. This is the industrial symbol. Oh, so I could give you, it up that, because that's I an, have That's it. an option. You're right. So no, no, I'm just saying, you know, on fire, if you give up this symbol, you probably want to buy either tyranny or worship this turn so you have a replacement uh, symbol. Okay, I got to get that in my head. Yeah. That is the whole game, I would probably say. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we all placed our uh, technologies down. Now we go to phase B and we take our cubes and uh, <laughs> populate. So I have one here. Yeah. So I'm gonna put one here for the uh, uh, wonders. wonders. Yep. Nothing. Yep, me too. Okay, so let's move on to phase C. So we start with the uh, Illuminati. We start here with the uh, spiritual track. No change. Now we move on to the wonders. So now I have two cubes here, so now I'm allowed to build a wonder that matches. There's so all four there's of these. There's four of them there, that's correct. So I'm going to, uh, let's let's go with that Palmera. I'm going to uh, purchase Palmera. Okay, okay. Or build Palmeras. Yep, yep. So as I, uh, as I mentioned here, takes the cube cube. So here are my two cubes, they go back to my supply. Sure. I'm gonna have this uh, gear resource for the rest of the game as needed. I'm immediately gonna put two cubes here. So one in here yep. and one in here. Okay. And then I'm going to place it up here at the top. Okay. And I will get one victory point in the game, and I have this, the gear, or the uh, industrial. It, it just goes underneath there? It doesn't go into your hand? Nope, it just stays up there, like I've already built it. Or if you have extra room and you want to show it off, I have uh, my civilization. Oh, it's a wonder. It's, it's not a, a leader. I'm it's sorry. It's a wonder. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, the wonders go on top. You can place them up here, but really, once you've done the... Um, bottom part. Once you've done the bottom part, all you need to do is you can tuck it down just to save a little space. Just now, does that mean that you're getting this gear the next time we do the This B? gear only counts for uh, cards or uh, the the battles or the challenges that require gears. I see. It uh, okay. It's not giving me a it's not giving me a resource. Sure. D. Okay. Okay. They look similar, but they are different. <laughs> okay. That can okay. be confusing. All right. Okay. So we'll do the same thing with the leaders. So Lincoln has one cube, he's needs one more cube. Right. He will. And now we can move on to phase D. So the same thing we did before, using your D icon to sure. move up those resources. Okay. On E, we, we uh, research a new technology. Okay. I'm going to do archery this round. 
put my archery here and go back by one. So I could take this three because I'm at level three here. Nope, not yet. So the costs are these numbers up here. Oh, seven. It's okay. Uh, it's so these are the, yeah, I know, that, that's an easy, another easy mistake here. So these are the technology levels, mm. these are the costs. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna buy You're that. almost there for next turn. I'm gonna so buy the archery as well. My recommendation yeah. would be to do save up, do the masonry, and then save up yeah. next turn for Forward your sacred test. Yeah, I okay. that's the best play. So I will get mm -hmm. this one for one. Yep. Okay. Go down on. Let's the go back and take our uh, resources. So I bought our trace. So I got a pow. Hey pow. What did you buy? I bought I this. So I got a masonry, right? Correct. Masonry. Wow. What is going on with you two? Okay. Masonry. Pow pow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that finishes uh, phase E. Back in F, we have no event this turn. That's the end of uh, era two. Okay. Doke. Yeah. Move on to three. Same thing. So take your five cards, put them back in your hand, and we'll start back in A. So at the so just to remind everyone, so in cuneiform at the during phase F at the end of the round, we're gonna get one cube either in the uh, uh, you're gonna get one liter, mm -hmm. so a purple, or you're gonna get one here in the uh, spiritual and in you the, just in the blue. Add that cube in there. immediately. Yes, okay. from your supply, and then we're gonna get points equal to how many cubes are in the yellow section here in the yellow tray the challenge, plus any of the symbols you have here for the cultural. For start of round three, we're going to be having the uh, cuneiform um, challenge Is it cuneiform the or cuneiform? I, I can't Cu remember. Cuneiform. Cuneiform. Yeah, cuneiform. So. Uh, at the end of the round, but first off, we're going to have some new leaders. Yeah, show them I, over I'll there. I'll show yeah. them over here. So uh, here is uh, Wu Zitan or Wu Zetan. And the uh, second one I'll show is... It has a heart on it as well. So here's Euclid, so you can see when he's alive, he's gonna give you one, it's gonna cost one less for each of your level three res, uh, three technologies. Uh -huh. Then when he passes away, when he's tombstone, he did, gives you the same uh, ability, minus one for all your level three technology purses. You would tuck him under here like that. Okay, cool. Okay. So we need to s slot space for these over here. Or yeah. We're gonna run out of space. That's, yes. I think I'm gonna put this change Wait. over money over okay. here. Okay, there you go, Lincoln. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, we'll take up we'll take up our uh, okay. technologies and go ahead and replace them. But what is the minus one? Sure. So it's the cost. So anything on this level, the oh, level it three, the cost, it will yeah. reduce the cost. So instead of costing you seven, mm -hmm. it will cost you six if you had him. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Play my archery over here and my masonry, I think. Masonry. Masonry. <laughs> Thank you, Lincoln. I'm not gonna let you go on that. <laughs> Don't. Mm. Grab this card, another card. Don't like it. Okay. Yes, that's what I want to do. Okay. Wow, look at the stack of cards for the next round. Uh, We're really going to need space. We might need some more space. Just buy stuff now. Buy stuff now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, so we'll move on to phase B. Um, take the uh, development uh, resources on the left side of your... Uh, of your um, uh, sure, technology I get, I get cards. Get okay. one of these, finally. Uh, we move on uh, to now uh, C. So we look at our tracks here. We'll start okay. with the uh, spiritual track. No one's there yet. Then we move on to the wonders. I get a wonder. So, Nikki, would you like Yay. to uh, build a wonder? Yes, I do. I have okay. my eyes set on the stone edge. Yeah, it's got the two, uh, so it's two spiritual stuff. You just go back. Correct. Then what? So immediately you're going to get two more cubes in your spiritual. So you're going to take them from your supply and oh. put them into the blue tray. Nice. And then you'll tuck it under your um, board. And then for the rest of the game, you'll have this symbol mm -hmm. if, if uh, cards call for it. Well, Don't be jealous. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> can buy one uh, warrior uh, no. leader yet. Jealous. Yeah. Uh, no, not enough <coughs> cubes in the leader section. So we're going to uh, continue on to uh, phase D. So on phase D, you're going to take your resources on the right side of your okay. technologies. One, two, and one. Okay. Two for there. Okay. Everyone's done that? Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. purchase uh, and research our new technology. I'm going to go for the foundry. F I've been building for that for a few turns. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do some worshiping. Let me take worship. Mm-hmm. I want the sacred text. I've been working towards that. Okay. 
cool. And it goes here. Yep, goes up in your little section here. So now we get our resources. You bought the secret text. You're going to get uh, two more cubes in uh, on your blue tray. Yeah. Nice. Uh, two more cubes on my blue tray. Yep. Look at all those. And then you're going to get one resource here. Yay. Oh, sweet. On the uh, cultural. Okay. Uh, Lincoln yeah, bought I was getting art. away here. You I bought get, uh, archery. I get, I get the pow no, and oh, a pow and a uh, yeah pow and then two wonders. of the uh, oh, nice. for the uh, for the wonders. Yeah, I worship. So I'm going to get one cube here. Where's my cubes? Here we go. Here we go. Hey, get out of my territory. No, I'm just. <laughs> I, I'm going to do some search rules and doing some searching too. Okay. So that finishes up us uh, uh, E. Right. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to move on to F. So we're going to deal with this uh, challenge here for cuneiform. 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 I think. Okay. So we're first going to start with uh, either a leader. So that's a yeah, cube in the going purple. For the leader, so at least uh, one or two. Or a uh, spiritual. Okay. So that would be a, a cube in the uh, blue tray. I think I'm good on that. So I'll get into the okay. leader game. Now we do the uh, challenge part of it for the uh, victory points. Lincoln, I'll start with you. So we look at uh, yeah, no, the no cultural or okay. whatever. But you do have a cube yep. in the uh, challenge section, so that's going to give you one victory point. Okie dokie. And then on the second part, one divided by two rounded down, unfortunately, is zero. Yep. So no cubes get back there. Uh, Nikki. But he keeps the point, yeah. yeah he okay. always keeps the point, yes. No. Nope. I Z thought this was going to no. do it for me. Unfortunately, so. the symbol here yeah. and the symbols here are a little different. They're looking at these symbols here on the technology. They got to be on the cards. Yes. Okay. Right. And yes. So cards. that's the nothing for me. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I m I uh, match Lincoln and I get one victory point. Cool. Okay. So that's the end of that phase on F. And okay. let's move on to next round, which is four. This will be our first uh, military challenge. Interesting. Do we pick these up, right? Will and then you reveal those? Is that the order? Yes. Okay. Yep. I yeah. just wanted to make sure. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't spend my uh, resources there. Okay. So Me neither. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's go through these. It's for four, right? Four. Yeah. 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 For round four. Make sure you do that. <laughs> so for times. round four, we're going to have the Terracotta Army. And all of these level two uh, wonders and leaders are going to take four resources, four cubes. Oops, four. There. So Terracotta Army gives uh, gives uh, three resources for military, a pow, and uh, <laughs> two cubes here. One in the uh, one in uh, for the military, one for the leader. Here's the lighthouse of Alexandria. So uh, this one will give you three victory points, two pows, and uh, one military cube. Okay. Uh, a Fatima Alfira, she is, she would give you a, uh, one of the uh, challenge cubes every turn she's alive. Okay. okay. And then finally we have Galileo. Galilei. Okay. When he's alive, uh, your level four technologies cost one less, but if you have a scientific one, it's going to cost two less, one for each. You can see here, one for all your resources, or all your technologies, and one for your uh, level fours. Okay. okay. When he's passed away, he will give you uh, minus one cost for your level four technologies. Okay. So Lincoln, can you put these out for us? Yep. Okay. We're running out of space. I know. We need to buy some. I think I'm going to be able to buy a few things right. this round. Okay. I'm very excited. Okay. It's not like I really had an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I think the first couple turns are. The game takes a little, you know, the yeah. game, it takes a little couple of turns to get your engine going. But as you see, most of the level two, three, and four technology give you more resources, which lets you either build more wonders, purchase, right, uh, do more research, build better technologies, get sure. different wonders. Okay. Okay. I'm noticing that it we got to be ready for to fight. Correct. We're going to have a military challenge at the end of this round. So you want to really make sure that you put cards down with the military symbol on it? Yeah, it's actually it, the POWs, isn't it? The POWs? Or POW will give you um, military, permanent military. Red cubes are going to give you temporary military. So okay. each red cube will give you two temporary military. So if we okay. so if we did a uh, resolution right now, mm -hmm. uh, pink and white would have four. They they each have two right now, and they each mm -hmm. have one cube. It would be at four. So they would take first and share first. Third would be the uh, the red. It would be our okay. external influence, 
and then fourth would be green. Mm -hmm. uh, you would get uh, the one here. Let me move this out here. You would get uh, fourth place, and you would get the uh, one resource? Uh, military resource okay. because you have at but least no one. But po no victory points. There's no victory points. Okay. There. That's correct. All right. Well, we need to fix that. I say confidently. Yep. So if you did buy more, mm. uh, one of uh, either all artillery or archery, you would get those POWs immediately. Okay. Right. Right. That's one way of Does it really matter? Can they just be stacked? They're all zero. Can they just be stacked underneath? They yeah. Don't as long as you can see the resources if you need them. Well, yeah, there's, yeah. No <laughs> there's a card going underneath <laughs> your board. That's all I got right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I bought worship for a reason. Okay, let's go here. A warship? Wow. Worship for a reason. A warship. Worship. More masonry. And I think it's going to be. Okay, let's put this down. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Yep. Lincoln, are you ready? Yep. Nikki. Yeah, I We're just good. was. Tucking. No problem. Doing so. Let's move on to phase B. Take your uh, development resources on your hey, B I side. I put a red cube out. Look at that. Uh oh. Oh, does that? Let me. Well. I'm Lincoln. I'm, I'm making yeah. a break okay. for the lead. <laughs> on. So I put a red. I put yeah. a red on mine too. Yes. Yeah. It's that what? One. Wait, wait. I was I being. I was. I was going to do some worshiping, and you guys are all going to well, be like I being aggressive. At the goal here. Be That's <laughs> That's why I asked about that card. <laughs> you go pray, we'll go, go fight. <laughs> yeah, you know, take your path. <laughs> I don't trust you guys anymore. <laughs> uh, so we did our, uh, our resources B, let's go on to C. So let's start with the uh, spiritual track. Yes. So you and I are both have two, at least two cubes, so we must move up. So can you help us uh, move up the... So you and I yep. go here. Correct. And we both jumped at the same time, right? That's correct. So here are your cubes back. I don't like you for doing that, by the way. I know. So these will both flip over. And now it's our choice immediately to take one of the two uh, abilities. Is it a speed? Like, no, 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 it's our choice. Can you both take the same thing? Yes. There you yeah. go. Oh, and okay. then, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying it's a, uh, you take the resource now. Yeah, yeah. Rather than wait. It's when you move up to the next threshold, you take the resource. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my cube here in the wonder section. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what I need You're to do. You're wondering? You could put one right here and then you'd be at level four. I mean, you have four cubes again. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's you have five. true. I don't know if I want to do this or if I do want to be able to get that's a card. That's part of the game. Yeah, that's part of the decisions. Yeah, there's some, there's some, oh. hefty, there's some we'll just interesting do. decisions. Uh, yeah, because uh, as you see right now, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to your next round or next era, you would be able to move up to the next level without mm -hmm. me. Okay. Let's move on to the wonder section. So, uh, Lincoln, you're allowed to build a wonder. Yeah, if I'll you do wish. something here. Um, so, if I put these in here, they're going to be gone. Yes, they are temporary fight. Think of it as conscription. I think I'm going to take this one. Oh, it's four. I'm not taking that one. Um, uh, you do not have enough for the lighthouse. You can I guess buy I'll do Constantinople. Why not? Instead of Istanbul. I mean, I do this one, but they're gone. I don't really want to. Although it is true victory points. Yes. Well. Yes, they are. Question. Yes. If he takes. Either one of those, they both have the beaker thing. Well, that's that's a leader. That's I'm right now looking at this. I'm correct. I'm yes. right now looking at the uh, wonder. Right? Is that what he should be thinking about? Yes. So I will be. Do I will be doing okay. that. Yeah. You can see we have we have in this we you know the uh, when we when we uh, start at the beginning of the game we pull out leaders and wonders they're at random. We see that we have a lot of uh, scientific leaders this game. So yes, it might be prudent to purchase or hire more of them so you get more victory points when we do that challenge sure. in round okay. five. Okay, all right. Next round. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've already, uh, we've already gone, this will be the fourth era, so. Okay. Um, Constantinople will be fine. Are we gonna okay. be doing that soon? That's coming too, yeah. Yes, that'll that. be next round. 
So yeah, I'll take Constantinople. Okay. And then that immediately gives me two cubes in that area. Okay, so take so spend your two cubes from here. Right. I'll give these back to you. And then uh, where the new what where, what does it give you? It gives know. me two uh, here. here. Perfect. So yeah. two of the victory point challenge yeah. cubes. Okay. Great. Let's move on to the leaders. So Lincoln, you do have two cubes I in do. the leader section. Would you I like going to, to hire take a leader? leader? So what's this one reduces the cost, correct? That one is a one time you pick a uh, level one uh, uh, and discount it. It's it's a free level one card card uh, because it has the symbol of the science. Okay. It's writing. Okay. Yep. And then this is the one that reduces the cost for level as long three as technologies as long as he's alive. That's correct. That's probably a better one. Yeah, Euclid did geometry and a lot of other smart math things. Okay, yeah. um, I'm, I'll take Euclid. Okay. So right now I would get a discount buying... Level three technologies. Right, which I won't do. But you will maybe next turn or the turn after. No, but this goes immediate. Oh, it's not immediate. Put it right he's here. in the middle. Oh, middle. that's right, the leader. Right. So he's now wait, let me see what other, some of those other things here. This actually gives me a bump on this track every, every time, time that she's in alive. your if she's your leader and she's alive. Correct. That almost feels like better than a discount on level three. What level does three this brings me down do? to six. That's sure. a lot. Sure. It's I'll an intravenous. He gets a yeah. no. So Galileo gives you a discount on level four oh, technologies. And then for these, uh, these are the uh, scientific ones. He'll give you another discount, mm -hmm. so they're Next. two less. So, okay. so the ten would cost you. I'm eight. getting to where we might be able to afford some level <laughs> three so stuff. Okay. Can you pay for it? You must right? pay for it, Lincoln. Oh yeah. Take a cubes. Okay. So that finishes phase C. We move right, on right. to D. So get our resources here right. and move up our tracks. Okay. So on uh, end of phase D, I'm okay here. Oh. Uh, Nikki, I'm looking at your th your th uh, section here. So okay. you're gaining five resources here, but your population is only four. Oh. So that will limit you. So you now you, you're going to have to only. So I can't take, take all of those. Yes, you must you must give back one. Lincoln's okay because he he's five, but his population's already at five. So one thing maybe we need to look at for you is to get one of the technologies here that give you sure. population. There's a couple here on on these tracks. Charcoal gives you one if you're going for that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's just, I'll take this one back. Okay. And it still leaves me enough to be able to then bump by one. Yes. A level one. Yep. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's Okay, fine. Yep. I'll do that. Okay. Okay, so let's now purchase our uh, next technology. So I will uh, spend my four here and take despotism. I'm going to be the despotism. Despotism. I'm going to be the despot now. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. A despot. Okay, I bought my nep despotism. 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 I'm going to be the despot. I okay. might be too. I don't know. Yet. I need to buy uh, mil uh, the archery because I want this. You want the pow? The pow. Otherwise, I'd buy something else. Okay. I wish I had hit that at to four. Okay. okay, so take one from that. Perfect. Lincoln? Um, yeah. I'm contemplating. I think you're going to join me in, in the being a despot. Maybe, if I wait another turn. Do you think you're going to go up and be a monarchy? Th I think I can, right? I, I can discount it by one, which brings that it down to six. That would be correct. Yeah, I think that's a good Ooh. plan. Yeah. You're thinking, you're thinking a little farther ahead. Yes? I was, I was right. going uh, short term, yep. That's nice. So if he got two more uh, resources next turn, mm -hmm. because of Galileo, that would only cost him six instead of seven. I am just looking at what you get buying you a, a you seven. Do. Yes. So and I think I will wait on that and okay. hold hold on. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm at three. Do I care? Do I, would worship be helpful at this point? It gets me in here where I, I need to be. I want to be able to make that leap into there. Yep. Um, but if I go to the next level, I would get military as well for the next it's coming up too it's not there's far away military is every even turn there's right. always going to be some type of military just like history there's always a war right there's always conflict right <laughs> well i think you should get worship then if you're going to save up a little bit right now you're uh doing well, well i have military. to buy a card you must buy a yeah. card yes <laughs> the game does not you must always buy a yep. you must always do some research and take yep. a technology okay you must okay so uh, on Can here... Can that cost me two? Uh, one. Oh, one, that's one. right. 
So uh, here, I'm going to get uh, one in the gray section for my wonder, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go two population. Nice. When I go up to population, I go past this. That gives me one in my little oh, leader section. Oh, interesting. I've got the one for the uh, that yes. warship. Lincoln went out of term. That's okay. Nikki, you bought archery, so I you, did. you're going to go one on the pow track. So you pow them with everybody else. Hey, that finishes uh, phase E. So let's go to F. F is our military. We're going to be doing the Battle of Alisa. Alisa. Or Alicia? Alicia? Yeah. Okay. So what we do is, that's our be where we're at is our beginning, and then we'll just take the cubes and place them where they're going to be. So white had one cube, so we'll have four. No. Green will have also have four. And then uh, pink had two, so it goes from two to six. And we'll just push it like oh, that. interesting. Yeah, because each cube here gives uh, you two temporary strength. powers. Yep. Very strength. Okay. Okay. Cool. So let's do some resolutions. So first would be pink. So Lincoln, you're going to get uh, these two resources, so the oh military cool. and the industrial resource, and nice. three victory points nice. from the supply. Okay. Second, uh, yeah. Nikki, you and I, we tie. Mm -hmm. So we'll get each get two victory points and then our choice of the either resource here. Either the, the industry, which is the brown, or the military, Thank which you. is the red. My first two points. I'm going to take that resource, the industrial resource. You're pretty even over there. I'm, they're at the same, <laughs> so whichever one I want to bump. Exactly. Boom. Okay. And uh, so then, because we tied, we would skip three and four if there was another player, but red, in this case, would be in fourth place, just to understand okay. where how that would uh, finish up. Okay, our cubes then, I'll uh, go back to our supply. Thank you. That ends round, uh, the last round, we'll go around to round five. We look at that the next uh, fight will be three, so we'll move up the red um, fighter to three. Okay. Up to three. So he, you can see here, mm -hmm. round six. Okay. More cards. Here we go, round five. So I'll show these on uh, camera. We'll start with, uh, we have the Forbidden City here. It gives you a, uh, a red cube, a resource in the scientific. And then here's this symbol. This symbol means you get to move one resource on your track up and one down. Get oh. the little swap. That's what this okay. blue little up down arrow is. All right. Hmm. And the other one would be uh, Angkor Wat. Immediately get to move two resources up. Oh. So here you go, Lincoln. Cool. And these two are, uh, so the first uh, hero or uh, leader is Nicholas Copernicus. Oh, wow. This one gives you a free, Copernicus. immediate, scientific level two. Oh, level two. And then we have the, uh, Johannes Gutenberg, and he immediately give. or excuse me, during uh, B, he's going to give you a cube for uh, the uh, gray, for the one, for building more wonders. Oh. There you go, Lincoln. Okay, let's take our uh, cards, cards back. back up. So I just leave my leader there till your leader stays. He is your he or she is your leader, okay. and will stay there until you either quit. replaced or the end of the game. Right. Okay. Okay. So just to look ahead, and we're going to do distillation, distillation, distillation. distillation. Yeah. Right. We're going to be getting some more uh, leaders, and then we're looking for uh, scientific icons that will give us victory points. And then uh, we're going to get some military resources after that. We're basically going to be feeding her a... Yeah, right. Giving wine and beer to the armies, I think, right? Sure. <laughs> I think that's what this that's what it means. Can I do that? I can. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to place my archery here and my... I can't do that. That's fine. I am. Uh, I can't believe Lincoln, you uh, snagged up the military. Who knew that you were a fighter? I, I didn't actually. It didn't. <laughs> and I almost bought that other card too, which would have just been silly. But I need. That's not going to help. I do one of those. 
this is going to go away. And uh, let's do I am uh, I'm ready. One of mine slipped out. There we go. It's fine. It's going to work zero. So let's start with uh, going to phase B. So you're going to take your resources on the left side and place those cubes appropriately. Right. Let's move on to C. So let's start with the uh, spiritual track. Sure. Look at you, Nikki. Look at me. Yeah. So take, uh, you are going to move up to uh, uh, level two. So take two of your cubes and put it back in your supply. And then you're going to turn over uh, both of those and you're going to choose one for all of, for you, but all of us for the end of the game. The other one will get discarded. Just put it aside when oh. you make a decision. So those will be either two victory points or one population. I need the population, but I, you got, I don't want to help you guys out, but I will take the population. So this gets thrown away? Yeah, just put it down. You can put it down here so we remember where it is. Okay, yep. and then and I then immediately go up one. That is correct. Sweet. Okay. Did you cover a... I did cover a purple. So put a purple cube into the leader section. Okay. So that uh, is blue. And just to be clear, even though Nikki had three cubes here, it's one movement per era or round. Okay. So you would have to wait till next round. You can't do two in one I round. I can't keep going. That's correct. So now we're going to work on uh, the wonders. I don't go? No, I don't go. Sorry, Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, Lincoln. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Lincoln, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lincoln, move up. Sorry, Lincoln. I was yeah. excited. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so uh, your two cubes go back to your supply, and then your choice of either a, a wonder cube or another um, a spiritual cube back. I'll put a wonder cube out. Okay. Cool. Okay, so now let's move on to the uh, wonders here. So I have three cubes. I'm going to save up for a... Uh, One of the fours. Yeah, I'm going to save up for the fours. Now we move on to the leaders. Mm -hmm. Nikki, you could, uh, you have two cubes, you could buy a level uh, one leader if you wish. Uh, I will just take um, this one on the right. The Theano or Theano of Croton? Yeah. Okay, so that's two cubes. From here. here. Yep, goes back to your supply. Uh, nothing else down here, but during D, while uh, she's alive, you're gonna get this resource. Right. Okay. So that's the end of C. Let's get our resources from D. All right, so. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. I got uh, one, two, three, uh, sorry, there's five. Yeah. And I did move, you're so good. I'm okay. You're good, you're good this round, yep. Yay. Yep, so I have one of these, and three of these, three, uh, and one of those. Okay, I'm I have, good. I have one red, or one military, or whatever it is, uh, one, Spiritual. Uh, spiritual blues. and three. Um, or the culture. culture. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I have five here at six. Well, look good. Okay, so let's move on to E and purchase and research our new technologies. So okay. uh, this is going to cost me four, so I'm going to move down here. I'm going to go and buy the foundry. Mm -hmm. yeah, foundry research the foundry. Put this here. That's what I'm thinking of buying too. Give some good symbols, I think. Well, I'll, I'm going to get the monarchy. Okay. Going to go for one less, okay. since thanks to Euclid, uh, Euclid, he's figured that out. Yep. So, so I go down so uh, you go to down one. To one, correct. Yep. We'll call Calling Kasha six. Okay, I will buy the foundry. Here you go. So that's. One, two, three. Here you go, Nikki. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's get our resources. So I'm going to go one up on the POW track. POW. And then I'm going to get uh, two cubes in uh, here for more wonders. Okay. I go up in the POW. Here you go. And I to level three with me. get two in the wonders, correct? Correct. correct. One, two. Lincoln. Lincoln gets a couple of. So you get one cube in here. You're going to join us in the wonder. You're going to get uh, three population. Yeah. One, two, three. You pass another leader, so put a leader cube here. 
Okay. And then you get one resource in the spiritual. So that'd be one blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, do our challenge here. So first off, in we're going to each get two liters. So we'll put two cubes in the purple tray. And now we're going to look at the uh, scientific symbols. So I'll start with you, Nikki. I have two. You have one. Oh, that one. That one. Where would be the second one? Maybe nope. I'm missing. Nope. I was looking at that, so nope. I only have one. You have this symbol here. It's one. So one, and then how many? You have no cubes in here. You're going to yep. get one victory point. And then it's going to get rounded. So should I take it? No, no, you, you get always that. get a victory okay. point. It's two separate things. You're, right. you're going to get victory points, and then you're going to get cubes. Okay. So now you're gonna get your cubes, one divided by two, it rounds down, unfortunately, so no, no, uh, no. I don't no get to. No. I, do I have to take them off? No, it's there. It's, you don't it's have here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, this, so when I we do see. challenges in the yellow section, they're always going to be yellow cubes, and then when we do military, they're going to be the military cubes. Okay. All right. Lincoln, how I many? have one. I see two. Oh yeah, I do have two. You have two. Actually, now you have three. One, oh, yeah. two, three. Wow. So you're gonna have three, and then how many cubes over there? You have two. two. That'd be five. So take five victory points. Wow. Lincoln is uh, pulling ahead. So five divided by two is two. two. So you're gonna get two resources, two of the military oh, okay. resources. Oh, here. Yes. Wow. And then these cubes go away. Mike has nothing. Looks like I don't have any. I was not. I'm not very sciencey. This this uh, civilization. <laughs> so no resources here. No no rich points. I mean, and no uh, no points in resources. Okay. 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 That ends round uh, era five. So I like right. that Lincoln. Right. So yeah. Let's move on to six. You don't look at it anymore. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's. Uh, so you're gonna pick up your cards, and I'm going to. Ugh. I'm going to discard one of these. They're all pretty darn good now. Yeah, so that's, that's pain, be this is the pain, pain yeah, one. It's going to be some challenges. <laughs> First off, we have Albert Einstein. Oh, wow. So here, when he's alive, he he's going to give you a minus four discount cost to level four military. So that's the A-bomb, wow. which makes sense. And then end game points. He's going to give you five points, and then for every uh, the scientific symbol, he'll give you an additional point. He counts for once. This is an end game scoring one. Okay. So he's really good. I think it might be uh, trying to hire uh, Albert. Albert. Uh, Albert Einstein. Yeah. And then we have Marie Curie. God, we have an, these are all, I picked these at random. Wow. So uh, while well, she's alive, she's going to give you two resources. She's going to give you a scientific resource and then a resource of your choice. She is worth eight victory points. Flat out in the game. Okay. Wow. Okay, Lincoln, I'll give these to you too. Okay, let's start uh, era six. Mm. Wow, this is terrible. Tough. Terrible? What do you mean terrible? Well, I see some, uh, see I have three? How can I get some more leaders? I'm not sure I can get up to seven, but uh, some of them. Mm. I'm gonna do that. I know, I would like to get to Albert Einstein. Uh, I'm gonna try. I like Marie Curie. Let's place this here. Oh, I can't do that. That's going to go away. Might be enough. I'm going to do that. Okay. So just to show everyone, I'm going to uh, 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 have to discard my masonry. Masonry, boo. Masonry. So you can see here it's going to be worth zero points, but it does produce the uh, industry symbol when we need to count it. So I'm going to put that over here. OK. I'm, I'm ready to go. I am not. I, I know. Yeah. Now, I now there's mess. more decisions. Yeah. I am a mess. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's now hard. Now you have to give up one of your earlier s technologies. What do you give up? It's hard. There's some hard choices. But I still think the same thing applies, right? See what's mm. on your card and... Still worth... Oh, wait, but it's... it's. Uh, do we worry about that yellow one again? We don't. Yeah. So I can... 
discard that one. Oh, but yeah, that's right. That's a different color, so mm -hmm. I'll just put it there. Because I am now done with my old cards, my starting cards. Oops. Do I want to do that? I don't know, man. Not 100% with my decision, but okay. there it is. That's what happens. <laughs> no, I do. I, I need the military. Okay. We all good? Yep. Okay, let's put our resources our, uh, on B, going through the uh, deployment. So I'm going to put one here, mm. and one here, and uh, one here. Okay. Uh. Uh, everyone good with B? Yep. Okay, let's move on to C. So we first start with the uh, Illuminati or doing your spiritual research. I'm spiritually researching. Yeah, so I've got three. Yep, so you're going to move up to level three. So uh, take your three resource cubes off, move up to level three, and the same thing applies. You're going to turn them both over, choose two which one. one you want for all of us, and then you're going to take two of those resources because we're on level, because it says times two. Mm -hmm. So that would be two cubes in... Uh, purple, oh, yeah. which we, which we you will be able to use culture. this turn, or you can use uh, two re two green or the two of the uh, cultural resources. Mm -hmm. So two in here. Yes, immediately go in there. Okay. Okay, let's move on to wonders. So we all have an ability to build a wonder. So how simultaneous works is that um, in some cases we put our cubes on whatever wonders we are we want to build. If more than one person builds, wants to build a specific wonder, we, we uh, tie break based on our chart oh. on our civilizations. If you get, uh, if someone builds a wonder out from you or a leader, they work the same way, you're allowed to either take your resources back and or choose a different wonder. This, we repeat this until everyone either chooses one wonder or leader to build or you pass and you move your cubes back. Well, okay. Okay. I'm gonna save up for level three, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use mine this turn. Okay. Oh, these are levels as well, yes. based on their cost. So this yes. is a level three. That is correct. There are. Where does it? Oh, it says it up in this yeah. corner. I see. So in the top left, we have two yeah. level three leaders. Right. But we don't have any level three wonders yet. Right. Those will come out next mm. round. Okay. Yep. So, if I okay. So you can build a level two because it costs four cubes. Mm, Lincoln can build a level one and I can build a level one or two. But as you heard, I'm gonna save up. So should I put a thing on there anyways? So do you wanna build it or not? I guess that's the question. Yes. I would say it would come from here. Yeah, they come from, or from here. here. Yep. Oh yeah, from here. Yep. So just put the ones on the on the uh, wonder you wanna build. So I want this guy. Terracotta Army. Terracotta wow. Army. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln, you're good or you're gonna choose nope. I'm going to do this one here, okay. Statue of Zeus. Okay. So you, they were different. Uh, you're going to build a little differently. So in case, let's say you both want to build the Terracotta Army. Right. Li uh, Lincoln would lose out to you, Nikki, because yeah, your that's military. Yeah, the important thing in my track. Correct. Yeah. Yours, at level, yours is higher than his. That's okay. Mike's the highest on that one. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so that would be both of you if I do went Do we have any road. idea what these civilizations are? Am I Egypt or whatever? Unfortunately, they don't have the names on here, so you have to kind of guess from the background. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, they're, they don't, the they're not like defined Babylonia in the Babylonia or something like something. that, and you're uh, Rome like, or yeah. something like that. I have like, like the tiered pyramids. Yeah. Okay. Ziggurats? Okay. Ziggurats, yes. So each take your um, wonders you want to build and then uh, okay. re put your uh, cubes back I in your supply. I'm my sleeves so I don't knock anything <laughs> and then get And then uh, do what it says there. Oh my there. gosh, I just knocked these down. I'm, I'm laughing because that's what people do okay. all the time. Uh, it's like one of the worst, one of the first things people talk about. So this is immediate. You're going to get three of these resources. So go so up on your red track one, by three. One, two, a three. I'm going to give you a pow. pow. Thank you for a pow. And then you're going to get one cube in the red, and you're going to get one cube in the purple. Okay. And that goes up here. Lingy, did you get yours? Yep. Right. Uh, that was one, and then we move on to leaders. Yep, I'm buying a leader. Same thing applies. Oh wait, am I buying a leader? I don't no. know. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to maybe get Albert Einstein. Three. That would be awesome. I'm going to uh, try no to kidding. get uh, Fatima Elf. Fatima, yeah. So can you place mine over there? Oh, I see. The yeah. Sneaky potential well, for that. Well, I could if I wanted. I I'm at six. Yeah. But you know, You're so I could get seven. a four. Uh, I don't. 
really. There'll be more, so looking at the, there'll be more leaders next Galileo year. Galileo well. reduced the cost of every one of these yep. by one, and then this is an additional one? Yes, for level fours. But I'm saying, all you your get level one on all of them, and then if it's one of these types, you're going to get an extra, another yes. point off yeah, of it? So all, so all these will cost nine, except internet will cost eight. Wow. Did you hear me say wow, Nikki P? Woo-woo. <laughs> Wowzy woo woo. There. I am I'm waiting. Gal I'm waiting for Gal Mr. Gal Einstein. Okay. I think that's smart. I don't okay. know. Cool. Okay, so uh, let's do our leaders. Thank you, Lincoln. I'm okay. going to lose this one. Oh, no. Here you go. Yes. Wait. Yes. <sighs> okay, I'll just stick with okay. what I'm doing. So when you replace your leader, it yes. uh, goes in your graveyard. Same thing, you turn it. Uh, you're still going to get this. Re uh, you're going to get the victory mark. points, and you're going to get the uh, symbol. But it's, unless it has a, uh, an ability that says graveyard. Which like mine does like not. Does, a, does not do Does this yet. discount these cards as well? Euclid? No. Level three? Level three technology. Okay. So, okay. Think, so oh, it has the orientation of the card, yep. I bet. Yep. Yes. All right. So I paid for him. And yep. now goes right here. he goes here. And nothing happens until. Yes, but he will affect any technologies you build during, or uh, research or buy during phase E. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to D and get your resources. Yeah, I'm going to get. So you're going to get the four here. You're fine because your population's fine. Okay. One of these. So to show that uh, even though I. One of those. See, here's Fatima. We're in. I purchased her or hired her in right. C. Now we're in D. I don't yeah. get this cube. I, I only get it in B. Right, right. Okay, so let me move up mine. One, two, three oranges. One brown, one red. Okay. Okay, everyone good? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so now we move on to E and uh, do a research of your technology. I'm buying aviation. Aviation? For six. I'm almost here, but I'm going to keep that. Let's do this. That's going to be four. I'm going to buy artillery. Do Arty? Lillery? Artillery. So mine is level four. If you want to use Galileo, and I can't afford it. Not yet. Oh this wait, is only, so any level four. So yes, yeah, so any of these would cost nine, okay. whereas internet costs eight. But you can save up for that. I am not there yet. No. Okay. You would need two more next turn <laughs> for that one. All right. So probably your sacred text is probably a good choice because you're at uh, you have enough resources for that. I already have a sacred text. I would like to get some other symbols going on. Yep. Uh, green would then only be Then you have your only choices one. are down here. You can take tyranny or writing or uh, more masonry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and I, I got yeah. it right this time, Lincoln. <laughs> um, no, my plan was because I had given up, I had tucked a religious symbol, so I will pay one for that one. Okay. Great. Okay, let's do our resources. So I took artillery, so I'm going to get one uh, blue cube in here and two pows. Pow pow. I'm going to jump ahead there. Come on, again. man. I know. <laughs> you purchase writing, so you can get yeah. one resource here in the industry. Yes. Lincoln, what you purchased aviation, aviation, so you're going to get uh, one cube in the uh, blue. You can get three pows. And you get one cube in uh, the gray for your. Uh, oh, three pows. Three go pows. Up here. Three kapows. Oh, what, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that finishes E. Let's go on to our fight in F. Let's fighting love. Okay. So our external uh, infl uh, factor, he's three. We're way above him this time. So let's look at our cubes. So I have two. So that puts me to nine. Five plus two is nine. Nikki has three, three, so four plus uh, six is ten. Here's your ten. Nice. And Lincoln has way too many. Look at this, five cubes. Lincoln is a... Dun, dun, dun. So I just that's that one ten sure. plus five is fifteen. Oh, He's going right. for smarts and fighting. Yeah, I don't understand this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Lincoln is the winner. So you're going to get one of the military resource, one of the uh, scientific, and you get two victory points. A big two, that's terrible. Well, I'm going to put uh, okay. three back and take Nikki, a Nikki, you're going to get yes. one of the orange, one of the scientific resources, and two victory points. One. I will get one. Thank you, Lincoln. And, mm -hmm. and one victory point. And just to uh, say the red extra, we get one victory point for that. Okay. 
We're over here now. That's the end of round or era six. So let's move on to round wow. seven. Okay, so what le he's now at eight, so let's move him up to eight. Let's put these cubes back. Here you go, Lincoln. And uh, here you go, Nikki. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's start with our uh, wonders first. We first have the Kremlin. So at the mm. end of game, you get one point for every POW level you're at. And it's going to give you two POWs and two red cubes. Uh, we have the Pentagon, which is similar. Uh, you're going to get three POWs, one cube in blue and gray, and you get seven victory points. Here you go, Lincoln. Here are these. Cool. And the leaders are, one is wow. uh, uh, Ada Lovelace. She's worth ten, eight victory points, excuse me, and she's going to give you a industrial and your choice of resource. And we have Gil Bates. Gil Bates. He's going to give you discounts on level four uh, technologies. Okay. And then in the game, he's going to uh, double uh, the amount of, um, uh, he's going to give you one, uh, he's going to give you one victory point for each of the, your uh, technologies. He's basically going to double your technology points. Mm, okay. 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 okay uh, let's start uh, around s era seven. Yep. So uh, we're going to be doing new missionaries. We're going to get three of these resources. Oh, nice. And then we're going to be getting uh, a spiritual, using our spiritual symbols. That will give us victory points. Okay. 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 Let's, uh, let's get started. Get okay. Look at your population again. You might be hitting on a limit now, especially with the level three technology. So just be mindful okay. of that. Uh, hmm. We'll do this. Let's build some art artillery. I think this is going to do this. Yep. Okay, I'm ready to go. I guess, I don't know. Okay. We all good? Yeah. Okay, uh, so we'll do B, so take your resources on your B. Uh, make sure to look at your leader if you have a resource. So I'll get the cubes there now as well. So here's one uh, for there, one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, B, okay. B, we're gonna do B. So yep. you're gonna place your development cubes out. One here, so one here. Correct, and then did you get your two purples? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Eight. Okay. Oh yeah, purple. Yeah. So let's move on to C. Let's do on the spiritual. So what do we have over there? Uh, Lincoln, you and I get to move up. Yay. Okay. So up. another bump and pop. And we each get a population bump. And uh, I now I get another leader cube. Lincoln, did you hit another leader? Not cube? yet. Oh yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's really, it's really easy to forget those. You get them, don't you? Well, I was seeing the gap, and I, I, I'm Six seeing the, the card number value <laughs> going up there, which You're is good. You're getting Einstein. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, now we move on to wonders. So uh, I'm the only one that has enough for the wonders. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to choose between the Pentagon or the Kremlin. I think I'm going to take the Kremlin. Let's take the Kremlin. It's one victory point per thingy, per isn't pow. it? Per yeah, pow, yeah. I'm going to try to do some great. more pows. So get more pows. Get more pows. So, uh, so first I got to spend seven. So here's my seven. There's four, six, seven. They go back to my supply. I get two pows. Pow. Hey, guys. I get two red cubes. And at the end of the game, I'm going to get victory points for uh, each of my pows. Okie dokie. Okay. Now we move on to leaders. So, uh, Nikki, you and I can do a level uh, one leader, and uh, Lincoln can do a level three. Do I spend leader. everything? I leave whatever's y not used. Yeah, you only use what you, in, in this case. In, yeah. in the entire game, wherever you spend resources, wherever they are, you only spend Except what you here. Need. Here, you always spend everything. You must spend everything. Okay. Think, of it, think of it as every cube goes. You don't have right. a choice. Everything Everywhere else, goes. you do have a choice. Okay. Right. I am not doing a leader. I am passing on the leader as well. I don't. I don't. Uh, 
how do we how do I do this? Do you're I put it underneath? Yeah, that's you're underneath. gonna tuck yeah. it under yeah, yeah. here and you're gonna show the Tombstone. little graveyard. Yep, exactly. Okay. And I'm, pa I'm passing on yeah. the leaders as well. Okay. Lincoln, you're good with, uh, you bought Albert Einstein. He got I did. his Einstein. Are you going to go for the A-bomb? Yeah, well, a while to go. I think you could, though. You I could. mean, it's it's getting there, right? Yeah. I only I got a few more turns. Yeah. We have uh, this turn, next you have two more turns after this. Okay. It should be, I should be getting Oppenheimer for the A-bomb. <laughs> <right? laughs> I mean, Einstein was involved, yes. too. Einstein was very involved. Okay. Einstein was a, a lot in that movie, so. Okay. Okay, let's move on to D, get your resources. Yep. Okay. So I have three here for the uh, scientific. I have one industrial, one military. Um, two. Three, four, five. Two I'm still brown. safe. Yep. One red. Okay. Think about whatever else I need here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's move on to E and uh, research our techn new technologies. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for the internet. So that cost me 10, all my 10. Yipes. I did the hard way. Hard 10. I have the information superhighway. Lincoln and Nikki. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to go for uh, the devotion. Devotion. That's six. Yes, because your um, still your leader's there. dead. Yeah. Yes. So it still gives you a minus one. Euclid to all has level given things. me the, the power to figure out how to pay a little bit less. That's correct. <laughs> so I believe I can do an atom bomb with straight out, but I have a discount, correct? Correct. So so the discount gives you minus one, so it's gonna kinda of it'll cost you nine resources. Nine for the atom bomb. Yeah. Sure. There you go. Okay, so let's get our resources from our um, uh, technology. So internet gives me a lot. So I get one in the military. I get one in the industrial. I get two of the cubes here in yellow. I get one of the dev Illuminati devotion cubes here, and I get two population. That's one, nice. two, and that's a pink, uh, purple, excuse me, for another leader. Okay, uh, I get two... In yes, in the uh, you're doing sort of spirituality. spirituality. You get four, 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 four pals. pals. Bam! Look at that. You're up to eight, and, and, one. and one in the uh, for the wonders. Lincoln bought devotion, so you get one of the uh, cultural resources. You're gonna get three spiritual cubes in the blue tray, and you get one pal. So we'll move you up to six. Cool. Okay, uh, that finishes phase E. Now we're gonna do. Yep. Uh, now we'll do F. Okay. okay. So we'll, we're going to do the new missionaries. So first off, uh, we're all going to get three resources in blue. We're going to do some spiritual resources. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're going to use those symbols to get victory points. So I'll start with you. I only have, you have one. You have one. Oh, have one and more. You have two. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, don't guy. forget that, that these also okay. count. I see two. Two. So that's two. How many cubes do you have in I here? I actually have one in so that's, there that's for the first time so ever. That's three. So get three victory points for Yay. the game. Yay. <laughs> Give me two. <laughs> Give me two. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> I thought you said me too. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to divide that by three. So three divided by three is one. So you get one industrial or the here. brown resource. Correct. Okay. Fantastic. And make sure that, and then we remove the cube. Uh, Lincoln, let me see how many you have. You have one on devotion, you have one on worship. I see two. Yep. Anything else? That is it. Okay, I mean, you have two cubes over there, so that's mm -hmm. four. Two right. plus two is four. So take four, re four victory points. Okie dokie. And then uh, four divided by three is one, so to get one of your brown resources, the industrial, industrial one. Okie dokie. Okay. So I have, uh, I have one on worship. And that's about it. So I have one, but I have three cubes. So that gives me four. So I get four victory points. Here's my, here's one. Yep. Do we toss the? Yeah, we toss those cubes. As I say. Thank you. Yes. Please remove your cubes. So that's four. Four divided by three is one. So I'm gonna get one <laughs> here. Okay. okay. That's the end of uh, era seven.
Let's move mm. on to error eight. Okay. Okay. I like that. Here you go. So uh, take your cards back up, and here comes the last two. Uh, uh, these are the last w wonders that we'll be able to build. Hmm. So the first one is the Hubble Space Telescope. This is going to give you six points, and then for every l level four technology, you will get three extra points. Does that... Uh, in your hand, nope. or does it have to be? Nope, anywhere. In, you're okay. going to be counting all, every technology that you research. All right. So all of these plus anything on the board. Okay. Just basically, we're going to add them all up together. So your, your A bomb already count, counts would count for yeah. this. Yeah. Well, these are a bunch of zeros. Those are a bunch <laughs> of zeros. <laughs> and the Apollo program will give you uh, four points, and then two points for every of the scientific or the um, beaker okay. technology you have okay. purchased. Right. This is a little different. This does not count for uh, leaders because it doesn't. It it's the technology symbols. Okay. You can see here. Okay. Here you go, Lincoln. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, take your cards back up. This starts error eight, and just a reminder: at an error nine, we'll have a full fight here. And error nine, we'll have a, um, a con. You know, we'll have a conflict as well. So we'll do these in this order. We'll do the challenge first, and then the military conflict. Okay. Who's conflict again? Yipes. There's always war. There's always some war going yeah. on. Yeah. I have four yet to do that. But I would. One, two, and five. What can I do here? Maybe not. I think that's two, two. Do that. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go, I don't know. Surfing now? I don't know, let's go surfing now. I think let's do, let's do this. Okay, I'm good. Nikki, you bit me this turn, That's, that was harder for me. Lincoln, you good? I think so. Okay, let's uh, move on to phase B and uh, get your resources. So that'd be your left side here. Okay, get uh, two of the challenge resources, one of the the blue resources, a leader resource. A leader resource and that. Okay. Oh, I forgot that. Here we go. I can't forget to see it's easy to forget your leader resource here if they produce. Because it's mm. even though it says B, it's oh, that's gotta look yeah. over here. It's yeah, easy yeah. to easy to forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to C. Let's start with the uh, spiritual Illuminati. So uh I won't forget you this time, but we'll start yep. with Nikki. Nikki, yeah. you have uh, at least four, so we'll move four and move on yeah. to the next section. Uh, same thing, you look at the two, and you get to choose one, and you get two of those resources. Let me just take those off so I don't forget. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, look at that power! Oh. <laughs> that was not even a choice. No, there wasn't much thinking for I'll that. give you two pows on that one, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I only have two, but Lincoln has three, so Lincoln, you're allowed to move up. So move, uh, move to level three, and uh, move, remove your cubes, and then you get to put two in here because it's the uh, leader cubes. Two? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because it's it goes one, one, two, two, three. Okay. Boogie Woogie Avenue. Uh, now we do the uh, wonders. So we move on to the wonder section. Yeah. We all have level one. We all have two for level one. So well, z I'm not. What's left? Nothing that I can afford. Yeah, I think there's I don't think there's actually anything left. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing left. Sam, I was excited to do play, and I can't. Okay, there's no yeah. level ones, one yeah. left. Let's move on to leaders. Okay. So three, Lincoln has five, and I have five. I'm going to save. I'm going to save up. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I think I'll do. I'm going to save up as well. 
I don't. I mean, I don't want to change my leader before I buy that thing. Right. right. That, that's yeah. that's yeah. part of the challenge. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I'm going to do that this turn. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you need to wait. <laughs> then Einstein yeah. can go away. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're done with leaders, so let's move on to D resources. Okay. So collect your resources. That is three. One, two, three of the browns. Mm -hmm. I have one of the blues and uh, two in the oranges. Three. Okay. Did that correct? Did that correct? Bam. I think I did that. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, that'd be horrible. I know. Okay, we finished with E. Let's go on to E. So uh, research your next technology. Okay. I'm going to take charcoal for seven. I'll pay me out a one here. <coughs> well, I'm definitely doing the atom bomb for six. Thank you, Einstein. Yeah. I feel like it's a copycat. <laughs> I'm a copycat? Uh, there was an ad wasn't there atom bomb over here on... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's the only <laughs> one I get to buy with Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> We're working together. Oh, man. I um, wish I had bumped a little bit higher. What's coming up there? Uh, Is that gears? What, on the last one? Yeah. Yes, gears are going to be in 9A, correct. So I'm taking a level four. So okay, you're going to take the down. foundry. And that, uh, here you go, Nikki. Okay. okay. Now let's do our resources. So I bought charcoal, so I get a POW. Nice. I get three of the wonder cubes in the gray section. And I get one of the population, and that gives me a... Purple. A purple gives me another leader. Nikki, you bought foundry, so yes. you get a pow. A pow. pow. Uh, next is two, uh, two in the uh, gray for the wonders. Lincoln, you bought the A bomb, so you can get two blue cues for your spiritual. Not sure how that works. You're going to get four pows. Um, kind of enlightened. <laughs> you are enlightened. Bring up to 10, and you get a one in the uh, wonder in the gray. Tray. Okay. Okay. That finishes. E, so let's move on to F. So we have our military conflict again. Yep. Shamor or Kimor? So it's our uh, external influence is at eight. So let's look at our cubes. So I have three here. So that would pick me up uh, to, uh, this is plus six. Eight plus six is 14. Nikki, you have three as well. Yeah. So that would take you uh, six plus 11 is 17. Lincoln has two this time. Two plus four, uh, four plus 10 is 14. Right. Okay, perfect. Okay, Nikki, you are the warmonger this round. I know. You won this war. So you're at 17, so you're gonna get uh, one cube in the blue, you get some in spiritual alignment, you get one resource in the spiritual blue. on your board, and you get five victory points. Okay. Lincoln, you and I tie, so mm -hmm. we each get two victory points, Sorry, and we get our choice of a blue cube or a blue resource. Mm. I'm going to take a blue res cube here. Yeah, we need four to get to the next level? Uh, you need four and I need three. Okay. And we have one more turn. Uh, right. And we each get 250 points. I may have my two when you have a moment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, that ends this battle. Right. There you go. Please go away. Wow, aggressive AI. Yeah. Uh, 15, <laughs> 15 for uh, 15. So he moves up to here. Oof. Okay. I don't think we're beating. Well, we might not we beat We might him. not. Okay, so in uh, just to reiterate, in round nine, last era, we're going to do the challenge first, and then we're going to do the uh, military. So okay. the challenge is, if you, you're going to get five victory points for every set of the level four technologies, so you have robotics and internet. Oh, so if we're never going to... Oh. So every set of... You have to have one of each. That'll give you five. Then you're going to look up your gears plus your yellow cubes. That'll be victory points. If you have s at least seven, you're going to get two extra victory points. If you have nine, you're going to get four extra victory points okay. on that. And then the military is a 15. All right. Okay. Uh, every leader wonder is already out. We don't, we don't add any new ones. Okay. So let's start round nine. Era nine. Okay. This is the last era. Right. Okay, 
That's what I have there. So that's what, six? That's yep. six, so yeah, I need to get one six. there. And what's here? Five. Five. Okay. That looks like that. That's why I bought charcoal. Can I get that? I need five. Nope. Let's do cadavers. This would be. Hmm. Charcoal artillery, artillery, internet, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do my last one. I'll be a despot again. Okay. I'm ready. We're buying one card. You're going to get one card, right? Um, so you're going to buy one, you're going to get, you're all, you're going to get one more card, you're going to get those resources. Um, we're going to have a chance to build one more uh, wonder and or get one more leader. I'll be able to go to the track once. All your cubes at the end are going to be two for one, but your resources are not worth anything. So yes, you will probably have unused resources. Okay. Okay. Are you all good? I think so. Okay, let's take our resources in B on the left side. So I'm going to put three, there. Uh, three here. One there. One, two, three. One there. And uh, one here, and one and then here. two here. Oh. Excuse me. And he wanted to jump in. Sorry. No, no, he wanted to jump in. Okay. There we go. <laughs> You're good. Okay. We all good on uh, B? I think crazy. so. I think I got it right. Okay. So let's move on to the spiritual section in C. Uh, n let's see. Uh, Nikki, you no. need five and Randy yeah. have three. Right. So you're going to be, you're going to stay where you're at. I'm staying there. Yeah. Lincoln, you have four, so you can move up. So move. Uh, okay, you, yeah, cool. Uh, that's me. That's but we'll, we'll do me next. That's okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Pink moves up to the level, spend your resources, and then get two pal. Okay. And then I'll move up, so I move it around th level three. I'll use my three, and I get two here. Okay. Make, make sense? Yeah. Wow, well, okay. I don't even think I thought that through before. I, d I yeah. forgot I was going there yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of things that can happen yeah. during each of the turns. You can, you right. can see. That's cool. Uh, it's cool that you can it, you, and you can plan it out. But yes, it's easy like, oh, I'm looking at this and I forgot I can get pow from yeah. there. The pow. <laughs> well, she chose it, right? She was like, I want that pow. I want That's pow. pow. Uh, next is she wants Wonders. Wonders. So yeah, I can buy... Um, I'd like to buy this one here. It would be my dream. I don't know that I'm going to have the choice. I uh, only have six. I can't Actually, does it matter to me? Seven. No, I, have, um, uh, I have seven, right? Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to go for the yeah. Pentagon. Let's go for the Pentagon, right? Man. Yeah, yeah, Is that right? I mean, this gives me, I get to bump something up one or up down one? Up. No, it's both. It's up one and down one, your choice. In these? Yes, and then you get an orange resource. See, I'm only going to be able to buy one thing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I don't really need the strength. I don't even know, if, I, I don't really need the strength here. I think I'm going to be... They do give you victory points. Sure, oh yeah, yeah. three, yeah. They're, if they're both the yeah, same, then yeah, maybe points, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yep. yep. Okay. So I guess I'll do... Uh, yeah, I would recommend buying, if something, anything, just for the victory points. I can do it, and that's three. I was yeah. really wanting a seven, so I, because I saw there's there yeah. the victory points on... Yep. Both okay. of those are pretty great. Yeah, yeah they are good. But uh, okay, so yeah. we all have different ones. So let's spend our resources, then uh, take our <laughs> wonders. This and wasn't a good one for you, Mike. Um, I mean that's seven, but this is six plus something. Yeah, I'm gonna get six points from that. You get seven for this. Yeah, three. No, I'm actually gonna get. Well, maybe I'll get nine. Right, it's three. Well, I have a level. F I have one level four. I don't know if I'm going to build another level four. So I'm only getting nine from that. Well, it's nine versus seven. Yeah, but I'm going to get some POWs and stuff. Help POWs help my crown. Oh, yeah, maybe it's 15. I, I'm Helps gonna, your I'm POWs. Gonna, I'm going to keep with the Pentagon. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Maybe it's, maybe the health score might be worth another right. point. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. 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 Excuse me for reaching. Yeah. So let's take our cards and uh, do our, so uh, here we go. So that's uh, three POWs for Mike. I get a POW One, two, and I get three. a cube. 
So I get two pals, excuse me, I'm sorry. You are uh, pink, so you got 14. Yeah. The nice thing is it's not really, a, it's actually, it's just a ranking, it's not a, it's not, well, it's always a ranking, but yep. it's not a battle. And this is move one up and one down? Yes, yeah, sure. Whatever choice. I want to do? Yes. Yeah, Does choice. it have to be different than? It can be any resource. So this could, you could use orange up, orange up, and then this would have to go down something else. You do, you do have to pick a resource though. Not like you can move. You can't move orange. You can't move orange up and then orange down for the first one. You have to move two separate resources. That's what I was asking because yes. I mo already moved my orange, so orange is off limits. No, no, it's not off limits for the first part. Oh, for the first. You part. can get okay. two oranges if you wanted. Oh, whatever. It's so easy. I'll just do those two because that one's so low. It's not even worth it. Okay. Now we move on the leader, same thing. I think we're might be doing a little bit of uh, leader fighting. Well, I think I'm in the lead for mir by miracle for something, so I'm probably gonna get what I wanted. Well, I think we have Gil Bates though. Gil Bates or Lovelace. Lovelace is worth eight. Let me see what I have here. Uh, let's see, that's worth three, four, five, six. I only have three, so I can only get Wootsie 10? Yeah, I don't want to, oh, though. Oh, I messed up. Mm. I could have. Although it gives you a gear, Nikki P, for whatever that thing is at the end that I don't think I'm going to be doing anything on. But I was planning on having this discount to oh, get. Oh, hey, maybe maybe I do that. Does that, what difference would that make? What, are, what, what, what are we trying to do here at the end? You're trying to get, if you have, so you're I don't have, I'm not going to have either of those things. Gear icons, so that would be these. Right. Plus cubes in the challenge region. It's straight victory points, and then there's two thresholds for extra victory points, seven and nine. So Lincoln, right now you have one from yeah. the foundry. Uh, that's all I see. Right. You have three cubes there, so you have four. You want to get to seven. If you can get to seven, you'll get extra victory points. Uh, the the three three of the four of the four of the leaders there do, do give you a gear icon. We'll give you the industrial icon. Right, it's uh. the same value, and it doesn't. None of this stuff that matters on here is is important because we're not doing that. This the correct. That's yeah. why. Yes. The um, so is an additional gear a little bit better? It's worth a point for sure. It's worth one point. Uh, so it's worth more than this one because it's just eight. Although no, uh, this is worth uh, one point for these as well. So it's right. nine as well. So they're they're the same. Okay. I think. I'm going to take, I'm not sure if Gil Bates is better for me, but I'm going to take uh, Ada Lovelace instead. So okay. So here's my, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So there's my seven for that. Uh, Nikki, you went for Wu Zetan. Zetan? Yeah. So uh, take her. Oh. And you, who would you, you have? I'm getting Marie Curie. So uh, my you. leader passes away, so I just place yeah. it down here. I was uh, I was well worried, and then I'm like, hey, my leader still, well, still works. Well, still scores you points, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. also. I mean, that's what's exciting about yes. Einstein. Yeah. He's going to give me five plus one for every uh, mm -hmm. of the uh, flask symbols I have. Yeah. Okay. Now let's move on to D. Uh, and remember, look at your population. Just make sure you don't you. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I have to. I think I'm at least eight or nine. Something. I don't remember. Okay. One, two. For orange, one on. Brown, I have two blues, and I have three green. Three, two, and that is it, I believe. Okay, uh, so if we're done, we'll move on to E. So uh, this will be your last civilization that you research. Right. So I'm gonna go for some devotion. I'm going for democracy. I think I'm doing democracy also. I can do illumination or democracy. Okay. So let's let's do this. So this is worth a point. Mm. That's worth four. That would be one, two, three, four. That would give you a point here, and then one of those. Do you think you're gonna? Okay. And that's not worth nothing. Hey, that's that gives me a point for going now. all the way to that. Yeah, that's Air, exciting. Uh -huh. Not much. Not much. Not much. Uh, two points. Right, one, two, and this gives you a pow. Gives you a shasta. Like a pow. Well, wh that would get me. When we do it again up to this level, right? Nope, because we're uh, we're a nine and we've already passed level C. Yeah, oh, yes. it wouldn't happen. Yeah. yeah. All right. There, so there is so. Uh, Democracy is the winner. I, yeah. Yeah. There <laughs> are uh, there are challenges that allow you to do additional to take uh, oh, wonders wow. and 
liters from the supply. Mm -hmm. You can do you can bump that twice. There's a nice. wide variety. It's not a big deal, but I do get the di a discount. Correct. But okay, so that is going to be nine. So nine, and mine is ten. Six, okay. Seven, eight, okay. nine. I'll do, um, so my resource devotion, I get one of the green cultural. cultural I yeah. get uh, three cubes in the little lake here doing my spiritual leukemia light, and I get one pow, pow. Shasta. Democracy yes. gives you uh, two cubes in the wonder area, the gray. Gives you four I'm doing on the, the population. Same, same one, two, three, four. So that would, one, two, uh, that would give you two more purple, right? Or is that one? You were here? I was here. Here. One, so two, two, three, purple. four. Two purples. And then one resource on the blue. Okay. Oh, I, I move from here. Do do all three of those? Yes. Do I get all three of those? Get no. all of those. Put four cubes in the purple. Yes. Four? You were here? I was started here, oh, yeah. Three, one, two, one, three. Two, three. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I would love to have uh, four in the purple. <laughs> okay, so that finishes E. Uh, now we move on to F. So let's do our uh, last two challenges here. Okay. So so first I think off, I'm kind of messy on that one. It's okay. So we'll start with this. Uh, does anyone have a robotics and internet? No. No. I have internet. Yeah. Yeah. So no one gets the top. That seems hard. Those. It's like really that hard. Yeah. yeah I, well, I think these you have to work towards. Remember, I s at the beginning yeah, yeah. I said maybe this might. Be I was something doing everything at. I could to like <laughs> get to the higher cards, but it's I only have to one. That's hard. I can That's blow hard. stuff up with the atom bomb, but we have no other. Okay. <coughs> you and I have democracy and neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> Makes sense, right? You guys right? are the U.S. this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Nikki, I'll start with you. Yes. We're looking for gears. So I got a lot one, of gears. One, two, three. That's a lot for me. Four. Four. Four gears. Four How gears. How many cubes do you have? One? I only have one. So that's I five. So you have five victory points. The I, I, that, that is important to get those. I'll tell you. Uh, the threshold is seven, so you don't get any bonuses. So yeah, we'll get <coughs> so whatever. And, and then the cube goes away. Lincoln, how many do you have? How many? I gears? think you only have one gear. I only see one. I only yep. see one. So you're going to get one, and then you'll get three from there, so I'll give you four victory points. Okay. And then uh, rem you didn't need to totally remove the cubes, please. So I have one, two, three, three. four, five, and I have Three more there. That's eight. Nice. I, I meet the, the bottom threshold, so I get two more points for that. So that okay. gives me ten points. Yeah, let me just give you ten. Yes, please. Okay. 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 And then my cubes also go away. Okay. Uh, we are done with the aggressive AI. <laughs> 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 let's do so the uh, battle of uh, Verdun. So we have 15 Verdun. here. So let's start with, uh, so I have one. So that takes me from 12 to 14. Nikki, you have three, mm -hmm. so that's six. So that's 11 to 17. And uh, Lincoln has three, mm -hmm. so that's 14 to 20. Yay. Okay. Yay. So first would be Lincoln. Lincoln gets 12 points. Oh, it, it, Nikki doesn't get 12 as well? I'm not a winner. No, I wear six. Oh, I misunderstood that. That's okay. Uh, Nikki, you're second, you get seven. Okay, I'll take it. Third place is the uh, external, so he gets four. And Mike is behind it by one, unfortunately, so I get one. Mike gets Oof. one. You're a lover, not a fighter. I am a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> That's right. I misunderstood that. I thought it was that we just had to get to 15, but it wasn't. No. Not. So think of it as he has a 15 that's strength, where he's and that's at. where yes. he's at. And yeah. then you do your relationship, right. you do your, bal your battle I in the relationship. Oh, well. I was excited for Nikki getting the same score as me. So I'm assuming that in another game, one of these types of cards would have, would have the, the, the me military, and yeah. then that these would start to count for something. Right. But in yes. this game, no, that would that be correct. we didn't have a card like yeah, that. Okay. So at the beginning of the game, before we go to final scoring, there's probably about five to six cards at each of these levels okay. that, you can, that you randomly pick, and there's a little bit of setup, but otherwise it's a new game every time. Mm -hmm. You rarely see the same cards after, until you play the body turn 12 times. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is the end of round nine, every nine, so we're gonna go final scoring. Yep. Okay, so uh, let's, I have my uh, the pad here. So let's first start uh, 
I'm going to do the population here so we can take our cars on the trade. So sure. Lincoln got to one. Yeah. Woo. There. So I'm going to put the one for Lincoln right here. Look at you. Oh, let's put it here. here. Big so man on campus. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got zero. And then... Uh, uh, zero. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. So let's take... So now, yeah, take your cards up. We're going to need to pull most of the things out here. Okay. And this okay. is all about the numbers on the back, yeah? Yeah, and, and, and your leaders and stuff, so. And potentially your symbols. I, I, Einstein actually uh, yeah. likes the science yeah. or whatever it's it is. It's easy to pull them all up, and then we can go through them all. That's and maybe even check to see if anything got slid under. That's an easy... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's certainly possible here. Oh, look, yeah. I lost one too. Here, it's a zero. Yeah, I have a pile <laughs> of those that don't amount to a hill of beans. Uh, okay. You can put your zeros back for a second. Okay. You get the laurels, but they're not worth anything. Y I'm just taking all the, the zero empty laurels. ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. I don't know if any of these do anything. Okay. First is your technologies. So take your technologies and add up the points on the backs of them. So it'll be the your level ones are zeros, level twos are one, level three is uh, three, uh, excuse me, zero, one, two, three, excuse me. Okay, let me put mine down. So, okay. Okay, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mike has ten. I'm sure. got nine. What are we working on? Which, which so, ones? Uh, do your, to plot your technologies out like this, and then sure. count them all up. You have nine. Not link, uh, Nikki has nine. That's, okay. that's great. That's a great score. Is it? For your first game, yeah. It's hard to we'll get. lay it out. I, I think it's hard to get three level fours. It's okay. really hard. There you go. Well, that discount I had yeah. helped me. Okay, I have uh, five, oh, 10, wow. 13. Oh, Lincoln. Jeez. Lincoln's so good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> okay. Let's hope I did everything right. Okay, let's move over there. It could uh, be a big asterisk. I think I did it close, though. Nikki has 15. Yeah, Lincoln caught up with me there. I know, and, I have, and then Mike has 10. Next is a uh, leader. So now look at each of your leaders and uh, we'll do both of the scores. So you're going to take, uh, you'll take the number on the left, bottom left, and then any other bonus points. So here's mine. I have 11, A plus 3. Yikes. <laughs> Six. Only those two. Yep. Zero, they're all zeros. Well, these are, um, Except for we'll do wonders in a minute. These so, two. Yep, so six. Okay. And what are we doing right now? Leaders. So Leaders, at, okay, so I have um, 11, a nine Yes. Uh, right here yep. with Euclid and, uh, yeah. and Marie Curie, plus I have five plus one for every one of these symbols. So I have, so it's nine, 14, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Woo! Okay. Let me, uh, let's see. You had, you started with nine, right? Nine. Then you had five more, which is yep. 14. 14, 15, 15 16, 16, 17, 17 18, 18, 19. 19. Yeah, that's right. Lincoln is, uh, Lincoln's doing pretty good. Hey, I messed up. Okay, what do you This mess? is not a leader. That's just a regular building, so I only had three for leaders. Okay. As long as you don't got book camp. You can erase yeah, you it. Yeah, can erase. That's the whole point of those pens. <laughs> <laughs> that pen is fantastic. Okay, I will erase. I might be here all night. It doesn't have any er erasers, though. It's, it's okay. Now we're gonna do, now we're doing wonders. Same thing. Look at your wonders and type the bottom Kay. left and uh, get your points that way. That's where my three goes for the Forbidden City. Three. Three. That's three. it. Okay. Uh, Lincoln? I have six. And then, okay, so I have Beat seven. Beat the pants off of everybody. I have seven, eight, and then I one per pow, and I'm at 12. That's pretty great. That's 18. Eight plus 12 is 20, sorry. Tw yep. Yep. It's eight plus 12 is 20. Okay. Mike is 20. Okay, uh, now you're going to count up your laurel points. Sure. Our tokens. Yes, your points. Yes, your token points. Okay. Uh, Nikki, you have what, 25? Yeah. 25. Lincoln. 33. 
And Mike has uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And now we do cubes on the board divided by two. So Nikki has oh. one, two, three, four, five. Lincoln has one, two. <laughs> uh, always round it down. Everything is one, yeah. two, three, four for Mike. Okay, now I gotta do some math. Supplies. Okay, uh, after tolling up, uh, Nikki has 60, Lincoln has 89, and I have 76. Those will, be, those will be the final scores. Mm -hmm. Wow, Nikki was doing pretty darn good there at no. first, but I think the leaders is where it didn't quite yes. work out. Yeah, you and I, Lincoln, got some pretty good leaders that helped us out. I mean, I ended up getting three leaders, and they, one of them let me bump up on three, you know, yep. I and mean, that was pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, what do you think of this one, Nikki P? It's a lot. It, it's a balancing game. It's a I lot to balance. Say it's a lot like life. It's <laughs> a lot <laughs> like life. <laughs> um, I definitely already see things that I would play differently. Of course, yeah. A hundred percent differently. Yep. Like more of these because the you need more of these to make those cards really yep. count. Oh, yeah. Yes, the, uh, the yellow yes. uh, challenge cubes. Challenge cubes, cubes yes. are I very important. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have shied away from a leader that had some sort of end game, uh, end game scoring, def for sure. Mm -hmm. Leader or building or something. I know. You were racing on the um, mm -hmm. spiritual track and you beat uh, us on two of the th on two of the three sure. and I actually thought you were gonna get to the last one. So mm -hmm. that was some points that- um, Maybe I should have- those have been, Nikki P? I should have kept that momentum going, yeah. I think. Oh, look look at that. That. boring. Th so that yeah. would've been three pow or three fight over here. That would've been okay though. Or you could have taken first, or, or you could have taken three recuses. That would have been at least a lot. Um, probably five points, because yeah. I think you would have That's made a better choice. Sure, yeah. and I'd be at 21. Six so more points. I think maybe, because I changed focus yeah. also, yeah. maybe, it was wrong of me to do that. I had some cards Plus where I, six points. I could have put them down for this to maybe get there, but mm -hmm. I was thinking it was more important to have the military, and it was more important to be able to buy some of these leaders and things, so. Uh, I think that's the pull and t the tug yeah. of the game where yeah. you want to do everything and there's, yeah, yeah you, can. you can't. This was an interesting mechanic where you buy the card and then you're gonna get whatever the benefits are from just buying the card. That was right. very interesting and these trays are interesting too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's a you get a, an immediate effect, and then you get an effect right. later in the game. I um, think that's interesting. Yeah, that's th I think it's really cool, but it is one of the easiest rules to miss. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Buy gosh. the card, and you forget to take the resources. Okay. Wh what my did you think, Mike? Though I I think because you played it more than us. I uh -huh. have. I have. <laughs> uh, well, I took third this. I took second this game, which is mm, better than I've done in the past. I enjoy the game. I think you can get the same. You can get the feel. Of doing a civilization game in a short amount of time. Sure. Uh, I do think there is some conflict, and you do need to see what other people are doing, uh, especially when you're placing your cards and you're doing the, uh, as you say, the fight track, uh, and or where you're trying to be a, a race on the, on the spiritual track. Sure. Uh, the variability in the game, it really is on the cards. For mm -hmm. sure. That is where it, uh, there's uh, and, gives you a lot of and the understanding how these work is a lot better now, right? Like Nikki and I, the next time we play, mm -hmm. oh, I get it now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like this is, yeah. and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other cards. Right. Yeah. Um, As I said, I think there's like four or five cards in each of the numbers. You pull them out, and there's a little bit of setup. But uh, these are some of the more straightforward ones. Uh, most all the military look very similar, but the other challenges can be completely different. There's some to give you points. Well, this one's cr crazy, but it's good. It's yeah. interesting. It's just hard to do. Yes, most I mean because you need two level four cards. Correct. I got two level four cards, but I, you know, buying Einstein meant I was going to buy this one, right. which didn't matter, right? Well, it mattered for the points. Well, of course, but it didn't matter for and the, the, the benefits, right? Were yep. pretty darn good. Yep. And I think getting your level. Four and three uh, technologies are important. 
for sure. The downer is, is I think I upgraded the ones I already had and some of those, right? I definitely upgraded from seven to this one. I did, I believe, jump up to democracy. Um, I think I had two of them, right? I had monarchy and, mm -hmm. oh no, I had democracy. Yep. So they so were the top two, yeah, wow. Yeah. So there is, yeah, and I think that's where you, you did, you got three more points than uh, me on that. You did very well in that. And I think that's one of the uh, interesting parts of the game. These are not tech trees. You can jump around, you can yeah. buy some level twos, but the game between giving you the resources here on the, uh, on the technologies and the amount of victory points kind of forces you to make sure that you do get those threes and fours. Sure, it's, I like the game uh, a lot, actually. I think it's pretty great. Um, it, I, I don't like the board. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I, it's me. I got my stupid sleeves here. I might have fouled up some of these low value ones, maybe. Um, I don't feel that I did though, because we, we off camera there was a couple of like resets to make sure I did everything correct because I knock things down. That's just weird to me. Plus, not having any kind of form for this track here, and you know. I'm having to lift things and stick things underneath it. It's not great, but I still think the game's really fun. And I honestly feel you don't have to tuck things under here. Yes. I feel that you're better off. Right. We have a issue with table space for on camera. If I were yeah. playing this game normally, I just have a stack yeah. and a stack. I yeah. would not bother with it unless, you know, because I could fan it and see the symbols. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and all those yeah. types of things and not trying <coughs> to be stuffing things underneath here. I would recommend anybody at home playing this to just ignore that well, and don't do that. I mean, just I laid it out this way yeah. for counting, right? Right. That you, yeah. yeah. But you do need to see these, right? So seeing yeah. these, and it will vary for each game what's important. So just setting them off to the side, because mm -hmm. you have certain ones that are, you know, like the the monuments, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, wonders and the um, and the leaders, they don't matter, right? It doesn't, well, it, they're value numbers on the back. I'm saying they matter, but you don't, it, they're gonna go underneath here anyway. And that's fine because you're covering up the rest of it and seeing what if it does anything for you yeah, but in depth. Then, but then if you don't tuck them in, they're just taking more table space. For it, sure. It, it, but if you this can take this game is a very big table space. Oh yeah, you have played it in real life. I mean, we played on, on stream, <laughs> on video here, yeah. So you have to be cognizant that it can take a lot of space. And that I think, I understand why there's the tucking mechanism, but I think there's a lot of room for issues between mm -hmm. sliding on the board, knocking your population marker over by accident. Uh, I'm showing here, a lot of people use the cubes instead yeah. of the cylinders, especially if you go, that's, oh that's yeah, easy yeah, yeah. to do. There's a lot of chance for mistakes that are hard to figure out. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a new company. It says nine on the box. I don't. I don't feel, I'm like, I, I feel like it's, you know, numbering the boxes like the Alea boxes behind oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I'm not certain of that, but I, d I only know of three games from these from this publisher. Um, they're brand new, the, the two or three years ago, two mm -hmm. years ago I think they started. Um, is that right? I think so. Mm -hmm. First one was ca uh, 13 words or 13? Or was it sides? First one is thirteen, okay. and sides is the next one that okay. I know of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played I've, sides I've on played the show. Thirteen, thirteen was fun. Yeah. Was thirteen fun. words is that the name of it? I think it's it's one of those two. Yeah. Yeah. It's the wheel. Yeah, I yeah. I yeah. which that, I like it too. I, I play that as SoCal Game Days. I'm not fun. sure that it's thirteen words, but it's something like that. Which, yeah, but uh, it's, it's, it's and, and we know Cedric. <laughs> Cedric is uh, was uh, the founder of Repos, um, so he knows how to develop games. And we've had mm -hmm. discussions about developing games because. There was a game they were going to do at Repost that we loved, uh, that we had done on the show, and it didn't happen. Uh, they could not get to the next, they loved the game, but they couldn't get what was broken. So they, they know how to develop games. You know, they've done Seven Wonders and, mm -hmm. uh, you That's know, right. Seven Wonders Architects. They're, they're very good. Um, so but I just feel this is like, I think this is a UI thing that's kind of like a little messy. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's challenging. So yes, if you have additional taste space, don't tuck. Use the cubes here. Yeah, I would use the cubes over there, <laughs> or just saw your cubes and uh, your discs uh, and your I actually, I actually use cubes for the population. I mean, you can still n knock them over, and this yeah. is not in. Well, this is but not it's, an it's easy to figure out because that was a spoiler. Another thing we had to re make sure I was in the right spot on that. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's easy to. Fr there's a couple things to forget. As I said, uh, the resources here. That was actually my biggest trouble with this, besides uh, my sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. Was well, me like figuring out what each one of these. 
doing it on the right side, left yeah. and right. I don't. I'm hoping I, I did that correctly. I think you did, but I I think this is a neat. Me so the mechanic of playing of yeah, getting a card choose. and having two choices yeah. is really it's interesting. It's a pain in the butt, but I and love it. And having to uh, kill off the cards in the game yes. is really agonizing. Oh, that's painful it's too. a really cool mechanic. Yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, the board. I mean, because it keeps your ch choices limited. Yes, which mm -hmm. is a good part of the game. That's yeah, it makes it fast. Right. Uh, it, it, so here, uh, we didn't play this board. Uh, you can see here, uh, all the boards are asymmetric. So this one would start with mm. two points in the um, in the challenge section, the starting point. So they all oh, wow. are a little different. Uh, the rules say uh, do them randomly, but if you know how to play the game, you can um, uh, you can either pick, you could draft. There's ways oh, wow. of doing that. Um, we played the face up uh, when you play in round A. You can play face down if you want to have a challenge. Oh, if people wow. don't want to look over, but most people don't. I mean, I was uh, peeking a bit, so yeah. like deciding like how it would yes. work because I, mm -hmm. I yeah. wasn't really like I wasn't competing down here. Right. It does uh, matter a little much. bit later, mm. but yes, I think it's better to play face up your first couple of games, and then when you want to play competitive, uh, right. play them face down, turn face over. Uh, don't talk about which um, wonders or um, leaders you want. Just place the cube so you have a little bit yeah. of uh, knowledge. Well, I, I like helping, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. pointing out to you, like, hey, maybe yeah. this one's better, exactly. right? I thought about the one that you ended up getting, Ada, yep. whatever, for a moment, and then I realized it, th th it's it's half dozen, t six of one, half dozen yeah. the other for me, ultimately. That is, that can and be it probably actually might even give me another point uh, somehow. Yeah, so that can be a uh, challenge for some players. It's really easy to min-max uh, during rounds eight and nine to see, oh, I can get w I can get eight points here or nine points here. That can slow down the game. Sure, I mean, it did slow it down a tiny bit because I did. actually had that, that some questions about that. That is one of the um, issues that can happen. Uh, the racing for the um, that was awesome. track is really cool. Yeah. yeah, she got to make every decision, which yeah. was a little frustrating. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I know. Do well, it. We I, didn't do it. We it weren't spiritual. I, had I made I was great to do. decisions. Yes, clearly. Actually, though, you you hurt yourself with this one ultimately, right? Because yeah. Except I'm three ahead of you on I, that. So, yeah. you you uh, more than once you snuck in here and took first place. You did it. You did it three here, times, I think, and at least here. Yeah. I think I did it it's here and here. And I missed this one. Yeah, I'm just saying. I was second on that yeah, one. It's yeah. really so those red cubes there. A lot of first-time players say, "Oh, they're not worth anything," but you can easily get more points here. Because yeah, we got two to Nikki's five. Yeah. Yeah. But this is where you need to look at. Again, there's a little bit of planning. You have to pay attention sense. to that. But I wasn't yeah. initially. I wasn't even going to try for that yeah. necessarily. But then I was like, "Oh wait, what I need?" A atom bomb, and you had the planes <laughs> I, and a warmonger. I don't well, believe you, Lincoln. Well, <laughs> I just was. I was looking for the discounts with the leaders. Yeah, uh, I once I got that one that gave because I ended up buying, I think three sevens, mm -hmm. which is pretty great. Yes. Um, yeah, three sevens mm -hmm. and two tens, and and you every did, one of those I was well. able to make a leap. I did not do charcoal, but I did aviation. Yeah. That was my, my three sevens. Aviation, yeah. monarchy, and devotion. And devotion is that's as far as I went. Mm -hmm. I missed. A, I messed up. I could have bought illumination, and I ended up with devotion. I, you know, again, it's really easy to mess up here and be off by one or two when you need it. it there's not mm -hmm. a. There's not any room for error, and the game is very punishing like that. Okay. Yeah, uh, that that can be a frustrating for your first or second time play. Additionally, I got. Three of these at six, and one of these at six because of Einstein. Yes, right. That's, that's huge. Well, we had the leaders; they were randomly picked, and we right. had some. We had a lot of scientific leaders this game. That's just what happened. Right. Very cool. Well, thanks for teaching us, Mike. You're welcome, Lincoln. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And if you do, click on the bell to get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. <laughs>